Everyone said like they don't like Moe's. I think Moe's is probably better than Chipotle. Listen, motherfuckers, I mean, it's Moe's not is kinda, good. Moe's is All of shit. it's shit food. Listen, it does taste delicious. It does. I fucking love the taste of it. But just like everything, if it if it fucks with my belly, I'm not eating it. Yep. If it fu- if something fucks with your belly, why would you continue to do that to you on a regular basis? Yeah. So no, I'm just not going to. I love the taste of it. Not worth the feeling. Yeah. End of story. I do not feel like farting and shitting my pants in the fucking bathroom after eating after thirty minutes to an hour and a half after I eat a meal. I'm in the bathroom. No. And it's mediocre. Like, if I'm at least going to feel like shit, like, let it be, like, something great. But even then, like, bro, even then, like, I just don't fuck with things that make me make my belly feel bad. It's not a next morning thing. It's within the hour. Listen, dude, I'm lactose intolerant. If I eat ice cream or the custard, I take, like, six lactate pills. Yeah. And then I'm okay to eat a little bit. Uh-huh. Okay? I won't eat things that fuck with my belly. If I eat something that fucks with my belly, it's like once in a fucking blue moon because I convinced myself somehow it was going to be worth it. And then I'm like, no, it definitely fucking wasn't. So I don't fucking eat the ice cream. I love ice cream. Yeah. If it fucks with my belly, I'm not eating it. I no. want to get ice cream this weekend. It, that, the Meadows was delicious. I was you just talking. What's wrong with Glens or the Meadows? I was just talking to Blake about somewhere because he was, he was talking about this ice cream place that. They have these really good like chipper sandwiches, like the cookie cookie sandwiches. Oh, really? Yeah. The places around here, there's one place up in Catanning apparently that's fire called Speedies. Oh, that's what I think that's where he was talking about. Like all the way out sixty six? Or no? Um maybe fuck. I don't know. I don't know. I just know it's not. He was like, Oh, it's out past such and such. I'm like Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I definitely know where you mean. I'm so bad at doing that, Especially by the around way. here. You don't know this place that well. No, I don't. At least all the old all the old school stuff. But he said apparently they have, like, they have wings there. Mm, they have, like, no. good wings there, and then they have, like, good ice cream, apparently. You know? I have no idea. Were you in the hallway when we were talking? No. Nope. Fuck. Yeah. I don't know what it was, but I want to go... I want to go get ice cream this weekend, I think. Mm-hmm. The Meadows was really good. I was talking to... Uh, Their Sundays... Sundays. I saw people getting like, I don't know what they were. No, 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 no. This is, they all comes in like a cup, Mm. like a a 16 ounce plastic cup like this. Yeah. The shit that was coming out of there (laughs) from people, I'm like, what's that? What's that? And they're like, oh, you've never been here. I'm like, no. And then they like walk away. I'm like, no, I was politely asking you what the fuck you got. Yeah. Please tell me. I want to know. (laughs) It was ridiculous. They, I think, uh, where they had some peanut butter fucking explosion type thing. That looked like it was covered in peanut butter, like mm. a, like a smooth, like like runny, melty melty peanut butter. Bro, it looked fucking fire. I'd fuck with that. It definitely looked like it was about four thousand calories. Yeah, but it looked crazy good. So I mean, I have to check it out. I I, I know I was okay because I ate like I legit ate maybe a scoop of the custard and ate I ate three lactate pills, had a scoop of the custard with the. The Italian ice and had it all together and stuff. Yeah. My belly didn't hurt too much. Not really at all. That's Little good. bubble guts. Yeah. But uh but no. No, mm Chipotle's shit. I it's hate bad. saying it because it tastes so good. I know. But it, it just, does just, taste good. I love it. Bro, it just ruins my belly. Yep. That's that thing. Do you think that like um like people that eat fast food? People that eat fast food regularly. Yeah. I know quite a few people. Okay. Do you think that they don't know? why they feel like shit, mentally lethargic, physically lethargic, or belly, and they just take that feeling as a normal feeling, yes. that that's what occurs yes. in their in their gut. 100%. Like, that's just, that's just normal. That's how I feel. 100%. Like, they just accept the fact that that fucking nasty feeling is normal. Yes. yes. You think so? Yes. Do you think yeah. so, Shane? I did yep. it. I fucking did it. I guess you did. Through you high school, guy. beginning of college, convenience food, stoner food, Taco Bell... And just like, ah, fuck it. You just ate it. Next day, oh, stomach's a wreck. Okay, I'm better now. And then eat it again. And then... Like that was just normal life. Yeah. You think a lot of people go through life like that? Yes. They yes, just they do. don't know. Mm-hmm. It's just convenient. But, but I mean, me, like, bro, if it makes my... one of the That's one of the reasons I love pretzels as a snack. They've like, never, I joke on here that I eat pretzels all the time. And I do eat... I eat more pretzels than I do just about any other snack food. Yeah. But, like, they don't fuck with my belly at all. Like, a couple pretzels here and there, 
and, and, and like a small bowl of pretzels as a snack a couple nights a week, like on a Saturday night when I'm sitting there with a Diet Pop eat, watching a show, yeah. that's what I choose. That's one of the reasons I stay so lean is because I don't ingest a lot of garbage. Mm -hmm. People are always like, oh, you're always so lean, and it's like, no shit, because I'm not eating like a fucking pig. I like snacks, but I don't fucking overindulge in things because I don't like the way my belly feels. Yeah, you're not sitting there eating Pop-Tarts. You're having like a small bowl of pretzels. Yes. And a diet soda, not a regular soda. And, and, then, and then I'll have a peanut butter and jelly rice cake, not a sleeve of them. You know, and, but that's like, that's why I stay so lean because I do a lot of cardio and I eat it and then the snacks that I do eat are light. Yeah. Like I don't eat, I don't eat, but, but the main reason I want to look good naked, but the actual main reason is, is because I like the feeling of fucking shit up. Mm -hmm. I like waking up in a good mood and feeling like light bellied and like, whoa. Hungry. Functional like hungry fucking, for the day. I wake up and I'm fucking hungry. Yeah. Yes. Like, like from, from the physical standpoint. Yeah. And from a, um, from a fucking mental standpoint. Yeah. So like if there's something that fucks with my belly, it weighs me down. It weighs my thought process down. It weighs everything down. And then I don't feel like face fucking you. And I'm like, ah, oh, I want to face fuck the day. Mm -hmm. I want to fuck shit up every day. So I don't want to feel bad from the foods I eat. I don't think they've ever felt, like, people that consume it regularly, I don't think they've ever felt good that's, that's to, to know what to compare it to. And that's what I'm asking. That's why I was like, so yeah. people that eat, like, fast food on the regular, bro, they got to feel like... <sighs> And they go, like some I mean, people just disregard. They're like, I just, I just wanted a Big Mac. I just like the taste of a fucking Big Mac. I know it fucks my belly up. I just wanted a Big Mac. I guess, I guess, I guess that would be um, like, uh, what do you consider to be more important, the taste of the Big Mac or the way you feel? Right. I don't. Me, the way I feel because, I, oh, whenever I was a bodybuilder, training for shows. I was physically a fucking savage, mm -hmm. okay? But mentally, I was eating so much food that I was not able to focus like I do running these businesses. Mm -hmm. Like, I'd rather be 220, 215 pounds, Seth, lean, mean, hungry as fuck, building businesses than lethargic Seth, eating too much food. That's just me. Yeah. Right now that my, my mind has shifted mm -hmm. and I look at it, and I'm like, man, I really, really like doing what I'm doing now yeah. a lot, mm -hmm. like pretty much more than anything else I've liked. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to do anything to take that feeling away. No. And if I do, it's because like the, uh, the only thing I would equate it to is just like when we go to Vegas and get all fucked up and go out and way indul overindulge in the food. But even the food, it's not bad, though. The only thing that makes me feel bad is the alcohol. Yeah, right. You know, and We're then I'm like, oh, I'll take I'll take a good time with my best friends mm -hmm. in Vegas to feel like shit the next day. And I, even though I wake up and go do cardio anyway to sweat it out. Yeah. Yeah. But the food on a regular basis. No, I, ca I can't do it. I don't know. What's more strange, the fact that I, I avoid fast food like the plague or people eat it just without even thinking about I it? I guess that's what I'm getting at. You know, like because when, when some people are like, I can't believe you never eat fast food. And I'm like, I can't believe you do it every day. I can't believe you do it on a regular basis. Like, bro, fast food breakfast is like the worst thing you could do. I'd rather see you get a Big Mac in the evening. I'd rather <laughs> I'd rather listen to you talk about fucking veganism and, and fasting for fucking 24 hours. Like, yeah, I'd, I would love a a breakfast sandwich from from McD's. I just it just and then I immediately regret it. Okay, but here's a fucked up thing: when we were in Australia, <sighs> yeah, perfect example. Completely different fucking fast food. Yep, it was not the same fast food. No, it was not. Not not the same. No, the we food over in Australia was not the same as the food in America. <laughs> no way. We got done training. Yeah. at like four a.m. because we were all fucked we up got on done time. At four a.m. Yeah, we got done at <laughs> we four a.m. too. Walking to a gym at like three, 2 a.m. Yeah, it was like 2.15. Fucking weird. But hit McD's the one morning. We're like, we got to go in and just try a sandwich. I think it was 4.30. It was not the same, dude. It, it was, was not. not. Nothing was the same. It's because they just don't allow the same bullshit. It's one of the yeah. things that a lot of people don't know about international. Uh, I mean, put it this way. Whenever we were put getting uh, farm fed, mm -hmm. a high quality protein powder. Yes. Like it's, it's in my opinion, it's the best on the market. Mm -hmm. I, 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 it's the only protein that I can take. If it doesn't have a digestive enzyme or it doesn't have a high quality whey protein or both, it's not going to work well in my belly. Yep. But anyway, whenever we had to get 
farm fed into Australia mm-hmm. to go through customs. We ha- it was six months of paperwork to get farm fed into Australia. Yep. Into any other country. We're going through it right now with Canada. They don't allow garbage into their country, mm-hmm. so they want to see exactly where everything originates, the whole nine. And almost all shit is garbage. It was, so but like, then we, I was thinking, why the fuck is this? What the fuck is going on? This is ludicrous. And then we get to the country, go there with massive Joes, go through all this, and, and, and like then we're like, oh, my God. I get it. The food is completely different here. They don't allow nothing in here. They, it, it's as, as Australian as it can get. They do not import meat. No. Mm-mm. No, they run a tight ship on, on their regulations their down regular there. Dorito, their Doritos, their nacho cheese Doritos are not the same nacho cheese Doritos here. They're not. This, I found out, when I, the, it was the second day we were there, it was the second day we were there whenever I found out that things were different because I don't eat sweet and low in America. No. Sweet no, and don't. low is a very bad sweetener. Mm-hmm. Okay? Whenever I got to the gas station... We were there. It was again. It was like probably four, four thirty in the morning after training, mm-hmm. and uh, cracked. And I and I looked, and I'm looking for the sweetener. I'm like, I don't, I don't use sugar. I always use a, a, a low calorie sweetener. And yeah. they had sweet and low, and I'm like, fuck, do they got sweet and low here for? Mm-hmm. I was like, it's all they got, so I'm using sweet and low. Yep. I rip it open, and I'm like, that's not sweet and low. Mm-mm. It was a completely different sweet and low. And I'm like. Why is it different? Mm-hmm. And then it dawned on me, they don't allow trash in there, so Sweet and Low sells a different version of Sweet and Low to Australia and to other countries. Yeah, I, um, I don't think there was even any Splenda there. It no. was just sugar or the Sweet and Low. Or the, sweet and low yeah. the, new, the different Sweet and Low. Yeah, yep. And that's whenever I... Gatorade going, was different, too. What's that? The Gatorade was different, oh, too, oh, right? Oh, Gatorade it all completely was completely different. Uh, th- once we found that out, I was like, I'm buying everything. Yeah. We bought every snack in there. We were buying fucking... And we realized that there's no obese people in fucking Australia. No, I could eat anything I wanted there, not get fat. Bro, I didn't get indigestion for 11 days. It was incredible. We ate pizza every day. We ate pizza every fucking day. Yep. And I didn't get indigestion. Uh-huh. Pizza and Nando's. Yep. Nando- Nando's. I'll be Nando's. <laughs> Fucking, fucking no one took heartburn meds all week. We all just week. forgot. It, I was, it was just, but that goes back to it's a lot of, a lot of shit food. That, that's kind of scared that's, me. That's it, why that, bro, that's one of the reasons that we came back and looked for butchers. Different yeah, butchers, we like did. Hometown butchers like mm-hmm. Jaconra Farms. That's why we started fucking going crazy with them. Yep. Fucking ordering 25 turkeys for Thanksgiving and all the meats on a regular basis. Mm-hmm. It was because they're a, a, a self-sustaining farm. 30 minutes down the road. Yeah. W- that's when we came home and started eating differently. At least I did. I know. Yeah. I, 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 well, we all did. <clears throat> but, yeah. What a different side of the world there. I liked it. I, I just want to go I just want to go, go back to. I want to go back to Northern Australia. I want to yeah. go do the trip like we did, but I want to go to Northern Australia as well. I just want to. I want to be there and just not be delirious from travel. Like I just want to be like one day of like rested. Like all right, I'm ready to go walk, walk the shit walk and go the to the back. beach and do the. Like, uh. Yeah, it was rough. I feel like we were either in a convention center or on a plane. I feel like I was in a time machine. Yeah. I was. I was a fucking nightmare. I was in a time machine for days. I was all fucked. Up. Everything was miniature, yeah. miniature beds and rooms. Yeah, it was different too. Yeah. Very standard. Yeah. I was just like, wow. Very expensive as well. Yeah. I think Sergio's still stuck over there. No shit. Bro, he's been there since the Arnold. He hasn't been able to travel home. So like two months or more. Because he got there well before. He got there right when it hit because he was going to compete at the Arnold <laughs> Australia. Yeah. and has I don't know if he's not allowed to come home. Can't travel internationally. Bro, unless you know someone down there, what do you do for 10 weeks? Oh, rent like you got to run a spot. <laughs> like, uh, bro, I'd probably, I'd, I don't know. I think you can go to the embassy, probably, right? No, I, he's definitely. I, don't know. I mean, there's. Listen, if 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 there was a bodybuilder that was stuck here in Pittsburgh, yeah, okay, he could not go home to his other home country. He'd be staying in my basement. Yeah, I got another room. It's cool. He'd be there. I'd be like, listen, dude, whatever. Just you can have everything in here. You can do whatever you want. Just don't fuck my wife. <laughs> you can do whatever you want. That's the only thing you can't do, okay? You can fucking treat this place like your own. You can watch the TV, eat the food, buy whatever you want. What do you need? If you want to come get, if you want to come to work and get a job, come on. 
We could we could fucking use you for something here. Yep, you're fine. I I just I if I got stuck, I just crash at like one of the the massive Joe's stores well, or at or their HQ. Yeah, just or ha- Joe's house. Yeah. <laughs> or Joe's really nice house. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. No, yeah, I'd I'd def- I, I'd love to go back there. Oh fuck yeah! I'm I uh so I got a story to tell you. Oh, let's get it started. I mean, we're talking about all this international travel, but uh, yeah. good morning, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the HWMF podcast. I'm your host Seth Ferosi here with my heterosexual life mate, Bob. Good morning. Uh, this episode of the podcast is brought to you by Pineapple Express Seventh Gear by Axe and Sledge Supplements. This is Bob's exclusive flavor. Everybody, it's my flavor. This is legit. An exclusive flavor that's not coming back, at least for a while, unless it's a special occasion for Bob. Right. We were planning this for 420 because that is your kind of half birthday. Yeah. And just your month because I never met more of a functioning fucking stoner in my entire life. Intelligent. Thank you. But still smoke a ton of weed. It's almost like it's a medicine for you. It's a gift. It's, it, a, it's like a gift. <laughs> I, was, I was thinking more along the lines of, I'm I've more seen of you a whenever gift. you're not smoking weed and it's fucking horrible. Yeah. It's crazy. It's anxious. I feel worked up. Mm-hmm. But, um, but no, Pineapple Express 7th Gear, this is the best flavor of 7th Gear. It's really fucking good. It, uh, whenever we tried it, we were like, how the fuck is this one? It's, it's actually pineapple mango. Yeah. Like you, but you taste both of them. It's uh, flavored incredibly well, mm-hmm. and I'm again. I haven't taken a fucking pre workout in over two weeks now. Yeah, this is disturbing. <laughs> um, I'm like bummed out, but uh, yep, this is available today, now. tonight. If you're listening to it on Thursday night, whenever we release this, uh, the the audio version of it, yeah, available right now. Go get it. Pause um, it. Go buy it. Pause it. Go come buy back. it. Come back. It's good shit. We're excited. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we legit, this is our uh, exclusive flavor. Release now. And you got to go check out all the fucking, all the, all the pics and all the fucking bullshit along with this marketing <laughs> It's such a good time. It's a blast. <laughs> I like it because it's you. It's not me. I'm like, I'm so excited because I get, we got, me- I get messages about like, so how did Bob become so successful? W- w- where did Bob come from and this and that? Because a lot of the new customers and, or new people that haven't listened to this or are just catching on to everything or curious yeah. is like, why you're so special to me and why you're my heterosexual life mate and all this <laughs> fucked up dumb shit we say. Yep. But, um, yeah. Pineapple Express. Pretty pumped about it. Y- your big thing with this is uh, now that you're keto, you're running, yeah. you become, you lost fucking probably, what, 20 pounds now? Over 20 pounds? 27 pounds. <laughs> 27 yeah. pounds? Yeah. Your thing is, is you, you'll, you'll take a couple puffs, mm-hmm. take a scoop of seventh gear yep. and go rip through a two-hour workout. Yep. Go rip for a fucking five mile run. Yes. It's kind of how you've always done things in your life. Even in the morning, you take a puff, drink your cardio, do your 45 minutes. It's part of your life. Mm -hmm. And you utilize, uh, you utilize marijuana as, I mean, even since we started like four years ago, Mm -hmm. over four years ago now, it's always been like your medicine. Yeah. And a lot of people that uh, have ever taken anxiety medications have taken anything like that, antidepressants, anti-anxieties, like people have said they've switch to marijuana simply because it's like a good strain not fucking shitty businessman swag weed fucking yeah, that, yeah you're <laughs> not, not moving no 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 no, not that yeah. we're talking about high quality legitimate medicinal marijuana mm-hmm. actually like not a fucking whole doobie either it's like a, a puff yes you don't take the whole bottle of pills you take a certain dosage similar to how you do it yeah yeah i mean i i i'm uh I'm very weird about what I what I take, like pill wise. Like I don't even take aspirins or fucking Tylenol. I'm just weird about it. No. Um, and and not to mention, I mean, I, I deal with my own stresses, anxieties, and everything. Uh, marijuana is just it's what's right for me. I, I just I don't believe in prescription drugs. No, I'm a big advocate against them. Yeah, yeah. I've so I just uh, it's. I mean, you lived through it with me. Mm-hmm. I mean, we've been best friends for over four years and it's like uh and that's one of the same things like i'm not a huge i'm not a huge prescription person Mm -hmm. like i don't like i don't like them at all yeah i I took antidepressants and anti-anxiety pills and sleeping pills whenever i was a teenager just going through like my own little problems and just fucking psychiatrist shoving fucking shit down my throat saying i got a problem yeah i'm like i don't actually have a problem i just need to deal with my own life stresses in my own way yeah one of the other reasons i fell in love with the gym get my fucking tricep torn i gotta fucking take painkillers 
I took as little as possible. And once I started feeling them fuck with me a little bit, yeah, that's when I was like, okay, I'm done. These are so you take away. fucking le- you legit took like five painkillers. I'm like, okay, I think I'm done. I think I'm just gonna not sleep and eat the shit for a little bit. Yeah. But and and that's what, but that's how we feel about it. Some people may feel differently and they're entitled to it, but you know who you are and how it works. But that's how you run your life. That's it, I'd dude. Probably say pretty fucking successful because of it. My runs are not the same if I don't take a, a puff or two. Oh, really? My last three runs, I did not. And that makes no sense because you're thinking you're puffing on something and then it's like, nope. Bob still it, runs seven, six. My last three runs, they were tough. Like, they were tough runs. They, uh, my mind never like just let go. Like I, oh, I was, I was just thinking about my timing and my pace and completing at a certain time. Like I didn't just free my mind. I, I didn't smoke anything, because thinking for that reason, I don't want it to affect my my run. I am, no, oh, that's out the door, dude. Two puffs. Oh yeah. Half a scoop, three quarter scoop, a seventh gear. I'm, I'm and, gold. And like we said, it's a different. It's not shit. It's Mm-mm. not garbage. It's not trash. No. No. <laughs> no. Not not connoisseur, Bob. <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> but um but yeah so pineapple express seventh gear it's yeah. available buy it buy two buy, i would probably say i would pick up two I'd if you buy, can if you are a seventh gear fan if you're it's our high stimulant pre-workout seventh gear we have three pre-workouts we have hydraulic which is our flagship non-stim pump pre-workout mm-hmm. the best non-stim pump pre-workout in the fucking game uh, then we have Ignition Switch, which is our stimulant-based pre-workout, which you can stack with Hydraulic. It was designed to do so. Mm-hmm. Um, but that also has uh, dynamine and teacrine in it and caffeine, so it's like a time-released stimulant-based pre-workout. Yeah. Also still get a pump from it. Yeah, awesome. Uh, and then we started, we <laughs> whenever you and I started deciding we want to do some functional workouts, mm-hmm. we are like, I just want to, no pump. I want to be able to run yeah. on something. I want to be able to take it and do like a functional workout so my calves don't swell up and yeah. my lower back isn't fucking all swelled up if I do deadlifts or something like that. Yep. And that's was whenever we said let's design a, a high stim pre workout, and seventh gear was that. It's my favorite because it's it is a phenomenal product. I'm clear headed when I take it. Yes, it's still 500 milligrams of stimulants and one scoop, so she's I can a, take. Which is a lot. <laughs> oh, you're fucking. You're, <laughs> you're, you're, a lot. you're a little bit in outer space. Yeah, but there's I don't get that crazy, disgusting crash afterwards yeah and i don't get i'm not jittery Mm -hmm. i'm pretty fucking i'm moving but i'm not like teeth chattering chills type of yohimbi bullshit yeah i don't like that no this is a clean high stim pre-workout and yeah definitely start with a half scoop oh yeah i don't go over three if i do a full scoop yeah yeah like i better not have shit to do for two and a half hours if i full scoop before a run I, I borderline, I'm just like jumping out of my skin. Like, yes. I don't get that skin crawly feel. I still feel clear. but uh, Almost like your legs don't move fast enough. Just too anxious. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My mind's getting a, ahead of my legs, and yeah. that's that's not good. Not good. <laughs> that's de- that's defeating the purpose of the whole puff. <laughs> yeah, but uh, awesome product. Yeah. Yeah, try it. So, uh, yeah. Before I we got into that, we had to say, you know, all that, but... Uh, so my neighbor stopped down. Yeah. Okay. We were talking about international travel and Australia, and I want to go to other countries. I, me personally, like uh, I made that post yesterday mm-hmm. about uh, about the jungle, my jungle analogy. We talked about it on here before, and like I look at it as like what I want in the my big life goals. Mm-hmm. One of them is I want financial stability and financial freedom in my life. And I think, and I look at it as like people that live in life and say woulda, coulda, shoulda. I want to be able to go on, I, I want to travel the world. Mm-hmm. I do. I want to travel to special places in America, and then I want to travel to places throughout the world that I find to be fascinating. Mm-hmm. And you can't do that unless you have a good deal of money. Yeah. Because I also have a family, and my family, become, be, my family comes before my vacations. Mm-hmm. So I look at it as like, I'm going to have to do some things because I want to see a lot, so I need to make sure I'm hustling. Hence... Why we don't stop. Yeah. Why there's five businesses. Why we are just nonstop hustling. Mm-hmm. But <clears throat> want to do international travel. Want to. Yesterday, two days ago. Yeah, two or three days ago. I can't remember. Today's Thursday. Monday night? Three days. Monday night, maybe. Or Tuesday night. A few Either evenings way. ago. <laughs> <laughs> so we live in the middle of the country. Yep. Out in fucking Salts. We live in, off, of, uh, off of a highway. Uh, down in the country, driveways, fucking six of a mile long. My neighbor 
just up the road from me, Mm -hmm. came down, knocked on the door at like fucking nine o'clock at night. He knocked, and I'm like, somebody knocks on my door at fucking nine o'clock at night. I'm grabbing the fucking gun. Yeah, it better be Bob or I don't know who it is. So he knocked on the door, and he's like, hey, it's Lou. It's Lou. And I'm like, and I was like, oh, so it's somebody I know, but it was definitely like, don't fucking lose your shit, please. Don't shoot me through the door. (laughs) Right. (laughs) So I like, I flick on, I flick on the outside light, and uh, it's him, my neighbor, hick ass Lou. He's just fucking hick like us. Yeah. He's like, uh, hey, my wife, somebody signed for some packages. And we were wondering if you guys signed for them because we're missing them. We don't have them. Yeah. And I was like, no, 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 da, da, da. We were shooting and didn't have them. But uh, we started shooting the shit for a while. He's still working, all this great stuff. Well, it turns out Lou, hick-ass Lou Mm -hmm. from here, is a fucking world traveler. Really? World fucking traveler. Bro, we started talking. We got on the subject to just about about countryside and all this stuff because there's bears. There's a there's a there's a mom and three cubs all through our our, our backyard. Really? Yes. Oh shit. Oh yeah. They're they're apparently traveling right in our area. So he's like, "Don't let your kids out, un, un, like unattended." Yeah. And uh, but anyway, so we got on the subject, and he's an army brat. His mom was in the air force, so he traveled everywhere. Lived in Okinawa, France, Germany. Uh, New Mexico, fucking all over the world. And I'm like, Lou, like, this is fucking phenomenal. Like, no idea. We were talking about all this shit and going on. And I'm like, I just got, I was fucking dying because my neighbor, who looks like a Western PA hick, is actually a very articulate, (laughs) intense, world traveling, life loving son of a bitch. And I'm like, I never would have guessed this. I, we shot the shit for like 35 minutes, and I'm oh, like, shit. he's like, we got to grab, we just got to hang out and have a beer. This is because I was talking about how I want to do it, and I was excited about Australia, and that's one place he hasn't been. Yeah. Bro was losing it. We were dying. He's like, yeah, I went on, we, two years ago, we took a trip all through uh, California. We, 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 we road tripped it for two weeks. And he's like, oh, I just, I just, trip. <laughs> oh, bro, this dude would blow your fucking mind. I was dying. And I'm like, yeah, his mom apparently lives in Germany still. She's retired, but she stayed. She, uh, his stepfather is German, mm-hmm. and he, I think he works for some government agency. But um, apparently, in her backyard, like you, op- you go out, open the back doors, and like it's one of Germany's largest mountains, like German con- countryside. Oh yeah, German countryside. He said it is fucking unreal, and like he's like, yeah, dude. He's like. I love going and seeing my mom. We went last year and saw her. He's like, dude, I opened up the fucking back doors, going to back porch, and there's Germany's biggest mountains. Yeah. And I'm like, man. And he's like, yes. Yeah. So his thing is, is he's, I was like, so <coughs> what are you doing here? He's yeah. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what are you doing right there, like next to me here in Western PA? He's like, Western PA is nice. Mm-hmm. I like it. He's like, it's homey. He's like, I love it. My family's from, my, my family's from here. My wife's family's from here. He's like, but... I'm moving out west at some point. Mm. He's like, that's where I really want to go. So fascinated. He said, because uh, I was like, yeah, I know people that moved to Montana. You know, Rob and Dana, they lived in Reading and then just fucking said, oh, nope, moving to Montana. So fucking, we we're living life. Yep. And he's like, Montana's beautiful. He's like, but it's fucking stupid expensive. Mm. I was really? Like, what do you mean? He says, oh, big land. Yeah. Big land is very expensive in Montana. He said, it's half the price in Idaho, <laughs> in northern Idaho. Yeah. Similar views. Yeah. He's like, but half the price. And wow. he's like, so I'm going to, he's like, I want to go to northern Idaho. He's like, northern California is my favorite. He's like, but I'm not living in California. Yeah. He's like, I'm not going to those commie bastards. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, oh, all right there, you know. And he's like, yeah, he says, yeah, so, uh, but no, it was just, bro. I'd, I'd definitely go. Now that we made the the Australia trip, I would definitely go to a, another country. That that the travel alone freaked me out. The yeah. long flights and yeah. all the shit over the water. But nothing is going to be like flying to Australia. So no, and we'll go back. Yeah, and we'll go back. It was awesome. Yeah. Uh, I well, my thing is is I've always said like I'm fascinated with cuisine and culture. Mm-hmm. That's my thing. I'm a foodie. I'm fascinated with all cuisine and all culture. Bro, if I go out west, I expect to go to a western steakhouse. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
If I go down south, well, let's go to a southern fucking barbecue. Let's go to some type of different restaurant. I don't care. I want to see cuisine and culture everywhere I go. Mm -hmm. It's just how, it's like what, I'm, what I like. If I go to a different country, I'm indulging in it. I'll, I'll fucking just soak it up. Like, let's go. I'm ready to enjoy it. He said that uh, where his mom lives over in Germany is such a small town that, like, it's just small town living. Just as if you were here. He's like the little stores, the butchers, the fucking markets. Yeah. Awesome. I was like, man, it just blew my mind. Bro, if you saw Lou, you'd be like, no. There's, <laughs> there's no way. No, <laughs> not, no, not like, I mean, like, if you, he looks like fucking bearded. Yeah. Just, just... Just looks Jeans, like dirty. been here his whole life type he, deal. He works in a uh, he works at a car uh, uh, mechanic shop or mm -hmm. a collision mechanic shop. Mm -hmm. So he's always dirty. He's fucking you know grease under his fingers, and then here he is fucking just world traveler, world traveler, Stamped and passport. articulate, it's just so well spoken. And I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> it was a great. I had, it <laughs> was an cool. awesome conversation. Yeah. Also, was a 300 pound fat guy. He's not fat anymore. Oh shit. He's like 185 pounds. Because he he was like because I do just he had a uh, what did happen to him he had some type of health problem I can't remember he said I don't think it wasn't a heart yeah. attack it might I don't know if it was a, I don't think it was a stroke he had something go wrong mm -hmm. and it changed his life and I was like so what'd you do he's like I stopped eating bad foods <laughs> yeah and I'm like oh and he says I don't eat he's like sugar's bad yeah he's like so I stay away from sugar I still eat it sometimes he's like but I stay away from it and then I talked to him. we were, we got on this he's like so like you have a pretty big supplement company and I'm like. Yeah, yeah, we do well. I was like, you know, we have some great products. He's like, yeah, you guys are protein. And I'm like, protein's fucking fire. He's like, I take it all the time. And I'm like, why do you take protein? And he says, oh, man. You know, that's how we got on the subject yeah. of him losing weight. And I was like, so how'd you lose all the weight? And he's and, and he says, uh, he's like, I stopped eating bad foods, and everything I do is a workout. I'm like, like, what do you mean? He's like, I walk up the steps, it's a workout. He's like, I walk around my yard, work out. He's like, that's why you see me outside, like, whenever I'm working. Like, moving. I'm always moving. Yeah. I'm like, he does kind of look. Well, like I was just going to say. always on a mission. Like, these, like, like, trade jobs and, like, all this outdoor work construction. Bro, if you're not eating like shit and you're doing these jobs, like, you're in shape. Oh, fuck yeah. I mean, you're in shape without eating better, but, like. Oh, yeah. Moving as much as you are doing that kind of work. Oh, fuck yeah. yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. I remember. Uh, but, yeah, it was Great. I can't wait to talk to him, shoot shit with him, drink a few beers. But, um, <laughs> bro. Fucking riot. Yeah. I mean, that makes sense, though, because I remember whenever I realized, uh, like, the outdoor work thing, there was one summer I worked for, I was working for my dad. Uh, I think I was, like, 17 years old. And he, I had to paint, uh, I had to paint the gutters in the building in his manufacturing shop. I had to do all the outside work that summer. My goal, my goal, I had to fix the roof. I had to paint the entire building clean up all around it re-landscape the bitch like that was my summer project mm -hmm. like and he just did just fucking make everything look good bro that was the summer it was the hottest fucking summer <laughs> we had in years okay <laughs> record-breaking summer it was fucking brutal <laughs> i remember doing it because i was I, it was only me it was a one-man job yeah so i'm fucking out there i'm painting the fucking gutters i'm fucking doing all this landscaping all this shit just sweating every fucking day in the sun i was also bodybuilding mm -hmm. so every day after i get done work i'd go lift weights i could not gain weight that summer <laughs> i was trying to get so big and eating everything i was eating like fucking sweets and anything my mom cooked you name it did not gain any weight sweating it all out bro it was brutal it was awesome though I remember uh, one of the dads of my buddies, he'd drive by, and he's like, he stopped the one day. It's like, because they finished early. They started like 4.30 a.m. Mm -hmm. They also worked outside, and then they finished around like 2.33. Yeah. One day he stopped. He's like, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, why? And he's like, I've seen you outside every day for the past month. <laughs> he's like, there's not a day hasn't gone by where you haven't been outside. He's like, why are you, why are you alone? And I'm like... Cause I'm the only one doing the fucking work. He's like, I've seen you eating lunch in the sun too. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not going inside. I want to talk to my dad. Fuck him. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> he's like, get in the air conditioner. I'm like, uh -uh, I ain't talking to him. Nope. Fuck him. He's an asshole. Eating out here. That was whenever my dad and I were button fucking heads. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Riot. Yep. I loved it. That no, that's, a, that's that outdoor, uh, outdoor work in shape. 
Just like like cutting the grass and getting in summer shape. Bro, I love that's that thing that we were talking about on the last podcast. I love my numbing work. Mm-hmm. I just fucking love it. Yep. I like being able put it this way. I think that's part of the reason like I want to travel so much is because I do daydream about it. Mm-hmm. Like whenever I'm doing that mind numbing work and I got some tunes on, or I might just be listening to nature, got nothing in my head, nobody talking to me. I'm able to let my mind run. Yep. I'm able to dream. I'm able to have visions. I'm able to become like this fictitious thought process. Yeah. Yeah, you know I mean, I think we all do that. That's like the joke about having an argument in the shower and the shampoo bottles. Do you ever see the memes? No. Oh, you've never seen memes about like you know in the shower, like you're you're replaying the day, or like rehab, like the, the argument the, you've had. Okay, yeah. And then like the meme is is like the shampoo bottles are like, oh, okay, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sick I've burn. Seen. You should have said that. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, like you're 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 spilling your guts to the shampoo bottles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're letting everything gotcha. out. So like, <laughs> and I think that that's important to do just with everything. If your mind's running like, like the trip to Australia that I was thinking about, mm-hmm. like before, because we had to make the fucking trip. You're obviously stressed about it. You're thinking about it. You're thinking of how it's going to go. You're trying to plan for how it's going to go, and then it doesn't even play out anything like you were thinking for fucking days, weeks, months yeah. of that. So, uh, but yeah, I think it's important. That's why I love mind numbing work. I'll be, I'll be like daydreaming and then like, I'll just smile about it. Like I'll be like smiling. Yeah. And Kim's like, what just popped in there? I'm like, I don't even know anymore. I'm like, I was thinking about something that made me really happy. I can't wait. It was a situation that never happened, but it was funny. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, my own movie's playing upstairs right now. It's great. <clears throat> Yeah, they're like when I'm cutting the grass, like half of it I don't really, like half of it I just I did it and I don't remember doing it because my mind was just somewhere else. Yeah, you were cutting them straight lines. You were in your shit. I feel like I'm in a country video, like a music video. Yeah, if that's know. what you're feeling, yeah, that's what you're doing. Makes me feel good. I, I'm singing out loud. <laughs> yeah, because nobody's around. You're no, like, no one's yeah, around. Into it. <laughs> I fucking love it. It, it It's crazy because it's uh, you'll be done and you'll be a completely different person than when you started. Yes. And it might have taken an hour or two hours and it's just like, man, what occurred? How did this how did this change how I thought, how I feel and everything? Mm-hmm. Pretty crazy. Yeah. That's why I'm fascinated with the human mind and the human body because of what things do to make me feel this way but it doesn't do that for some other people it's wild just like getting my mind into that that state of mind like it just happens without me really trying and then other times i'm like i can't get out of like a funk a funk and then it's just wild how it it can be such a different range and it just happens on on its own accomplishment Simple, small accomplishments also make me feel really good. Yes. Like cutting the grass and having straight lines. If my lines are straight and fucking got a really good cut, yeah, I feel way different than if there's one line that's like, mm. I was just like half a foot over too far. And this one isn't as even as all the other ones. Yeah. It still looks good, but I'm like, oh, shit. Next time I'm going to get you. <laughs> I, like, there, the there's, this one, there's this one spot <laughs> that I always like it's like this little hump in my front yard. I can't get the right angle with the zero turn to either not just fucking like... Oh, really? Like a turf it? It just... I either turf it or I drag the one wheel and it just puts this giant fucking... A little rut there or a little spin mark or... Yep. Like not like not the actual tires, like the little like wheel on the, on oh, the fucking thing yeah, the... and it digs in. I'm like, son of a bitch. Mm. I mean, it's all fucked up from when they put the septic system well, in Well, that's now, what we were but... talking about yesterday. Now that your driveway's done. Yeah. Bob put in a beautiful, <sighs> like, what? <laughs> I think it was 14,000 square feet of driveway. Of driveway. It's a long, long driveway. Yeah. It's a very long driveway. I had a guy, uh, he, he does asphalt. Oh, really? Saw my driveway. Uh-huh. He's like, hey, dude, I just want to let you know, whoever did your driveway does excellent work. <sighs> I'm like, no shit. I was like, I thought that too. He's like, I work in this shit every day. He's like, I see our competition. He's like, 
it's all shit. He's like, this is good fucking work. Mm. I'm like, how could that make you feel? Dude. <laughs> you spent all that fucking money because it was not cheap. And you I was sweating that, that. I was sweating writing that check so bad, like still questioning it. And then I'm like, man, this guy. I feel way better. I remember it. Now everybody understands a dad move. <laughs> yes. I stopped over. I stopped. I had to go to the grocery store last night. Uh-huh. And then on the way home, I'm like, I'm going to swing past Bob's. And I was like, man, look at that driveway. <laughs> It's like you just want everybody to come over and just stare at it, walk on it, have a beer on it. Yep. It's like the it's like oh, look at that new roof. Look at this driveway. Bro, great driveway. Yeah. I walked it three times last night. <laughs> and this morning just walked in. I'm like, man, Fucking look at right. this. I was like, Oh, that's where that pothole was coming in. Mm. Don't have to worry about that. It's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. It's I mean, that's it's it's the beauty of growing up. Yeah. Because the things that we value, like something like that, that is a huge deal. Yeah. And that guy that does that work or anybody that has ever had their driveway paved or put in a new concrete driveway or anything yeah. knows how big of a deal that is. Oh, yeah. And, and the craftsmanship, like you said. Oh, that the dude guy, was awesome. And Older this dude guy. saying the same thing. Yeah. He, he, said, he was explaining everything to Kim, you know, don't drive on it till Thursday and, and thanked us. Like, he thanked us so many times, like, for the business. Because he, he's like, for someone to be comfortable with paving a driveway and paying the price, because it's, it's not fucking cheap, and it, it's a very skilled job. He's like, the fact that you trust me to do the job, he's like, I fucking love that. And then he's like, he's like, the only thing, he's like, you might want to put a fucking speed sign on this road. He's like, I know your husband has a few cars. <laughs> Yeah, I'm fucking gonna rip I'm on so this bitch. I'm so excited. Yeah, dude, it's awesome. <laughs> That's why I took a little bit more up past the garage, so Just I can fly past the garage and then You're good. back it in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's exciting. Yeah, it's really cool. It's um, yeah. But that's uh, I mean that's that's probably the the most uh, fulfilling part about growing up and becoming an adult is doing big things. As I, as I, as you know, we become more successful with everything we do and being able to achieve things that you dreamt of doing. Yeah. And that goes for the same thing, like the guys in the demo crew that do the concrete work and do those pools and things like that. Bro, that type of work, bro, that's not simple. It's not cheap. It's not easy. It's a skilled labor position or skilled labor job that like, bro, Mm -hmm. all the shit, man. I mean, that's why we... That's why we do everything. That's why H- the, the HWMF, just being a hardworking motherfucker and taking pride in your work. Uh, that's why even just taking pride like in, in your life. Like I remember like my parents having to do these big thing, these big updates to their homes that we've own, owned over the years and what it took for them to fucking, how much they worked all year to be able to put the new roof on the house or put the new siding or rip that wall down and put new landscaping in. Bro, fuck yeah. Bro, it's what... It's, it's, it's the shit that I love seeing. Yeah. That's why I, I love seeing it. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's kind of that thing like if it gets done, I had I legit stopped over your house and you didn't invite me to mm-hmm. look at your driveway. That's so cool. And just driving down the road, I'm like, I got to look at it. I know it. you called me. Yeah. Hey, dude, night killer driveway, bro. <laughs> I'm like, yes. <laughs> but even if somebody ever gets something done to their house or buys a new truck or buys a new house or whatever, like, bro, yeah, like show me. Bro, I'm so excited for I that I like stuff. that because obviously you worked very hard to get to that point. Mm-hmm. Not many people, not not as many people uh, get handed things as everyone thinks. There are people that do get handed things in life, but like that's fine too. Mm-hmm. But I don't, even if you did get something handed to you in life, if you're a hard worker and you take pride in what you do and you do, and you wake up and work every day, you can get whatever the fuck you want. Tell me about it. Yep. And the people that do, that have saved and worked really hard, like I'm a house guy. Mm-hmm. I'm a house guy. I wanna, I wanna, I want a certain type of home. That's what I'm gonna buy. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a very nice, larger home. It's just what that's what I'm into. Yeah. And if you're into those things, you shouldn't. Those are things that you shouldn't have taken away from you. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And just you should be excited. And if somebody does it, it's not like keeping up with the Joneses. And you gotta, oh, he does this or Sally does that or Jim does this. It's like. If you're that type of person, please get the fuck away from me. I'm the type of guy, if you go buy a $200,000 fucking Lamborghini Urus, please drive it to my house and show me the whole fucking car. Yep. I'm going to sit in it. I'm going to listen to you talk about it. I'm going to tell you how cool it is. I'm going to tell you how great, decision. how great of a decision it was yep. and ask you if you got any pussy in it. I'm going to ask you everything. It's going to be great. 
You buy a new house? Did you fuck your wife on the table yet? Let's go have a beer on there. Let's talk about it. I just I just like that. That's what that's what excites me in life. Yeah. So, yeah. I looked at the Lamborghini Urus again because mm-hmm. I was just because it's it's Zach's car. Yeah. Zach is our lead salesman. Uh-huh. He uh, he runs it's Pat's son and he uh, runs our sales department. And his dream car is a Lamborghini Urus. And the other night I was sitting on the couch looking at uh, the, when I was looking at, looking at Fords. Yeah. I was looking at trucks. I also got a ton of messages from people about trucks. I did too, especially about the Chevy, the twenty five hundred, like the. What the fuck uh, is it called? Uh, it was a certain edition. It was. Bro, it was fucking... I didn't look at it yet. It was, it was fucking was, sick. But anyway, I looked yeah. at the Urises, and I'm like, man, is this a fucking wild vehicle? It's a very unique car. It is. I, I don't. I'm not a Lamborghini guy. Mm-hmm. I'm not. I'm not a Lamborghini guy. I'm not a fucking Ferrari guy. I like trucks. I like Broncos. I do like nice cars. I like Mercedes and BMWs. Mm-hmm. Um, I love old muscle cars. I'm an idiot though. I just fucking tore my tricep doing dumb shit. I drive car, I go fast. Mm-hmm. You give me a 600, 700,000 or 700 horsepower vehicle, probably going to go 150 miles an hour. Probably going to do dumb shit. Probably going to do dumb shit. So I got to be careful. Yep. House, tractors, Seth. Yep. Dirt bikes, fast cars, no Seth. <laughs> Guns, Seth. You're you're good with the stronger, slower things. Yes. <laughs> Give me strong, slow stuff. Yeah, okay. I'll drive it all day. <laughs> give, give me that stuff. I can do that. I'm good with that. I am patient. I am fucking, I like it. I like those things. Mm-hmm. I can't run fast, but if I get a hold of you, I'm going to fuck you up. <laughs> I'm going to get a grip. <laughs> Once I get a fucking grip on you, you're fucking dead. Um, but yeah, I was looking at them and they are wild vehicles. Mm-hmm. They are fucking incredible. I love the look of them. I wonder the how seats. they drive. I, that's kind of what I thought. I was like. I didn't look on YouTube at him, but I would love to see what that feels like to ride and drive in that car. It's got to be a, a very sporty. It's got to. Stiff. Fucking the, 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 the seat interior. The seats look so fucking cool. I wanted to sit in them mm-hmm. and just feel the leather. Just feel your leather. Nice soft leather. Mm. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, Shane, Shane's dream car is the Porsche Cayenne. Yeah, I love is that it? car. Porsche guy. Yeah, yep. Porsche guy. Nice. That's his yeah. thing there. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, nice little SUV. That will come after your first truck, right? <laughs> I don't know about that. If Porsche makes a truck kind of like a when Porsche Tesla truck. made the truck. <laughs> shh, shh. Tesla's truck's sick. The Tesla truck, I'd, I, I would like Is that to... real? That thing's real? No, I don't think it's going to be real. I don't think it's going to happen. No. I think that it's. Uh, I think that it's just... Obviously, there's mind games that everybody plays on every everybody. We just... We don't really play mind games. We play marketing games. I feel like Elon plays the biggest games. Oh, fuck yeah. Like, he's just fucking with everyone right now. Absolutely. That dude's so smart. Oh, here's this truck. And then meanwhile, he's got... Thinking about doing. (laughs) Yeah. There, there, I, there was somebody on Rogan's podcast that was a car guy that talked about, like, why he does those things. And, like, the type of benefit he gains from that, doing things like that. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't really remember. But, yeah, yeah, there is something to it. I think he's just all, like, legacy-driven. Oh, bro. I mean, that... So that Rogan podcast... I mean, at at that point, you're already a a multi-billionaire. Bro, that Rogan podcast with him was really cool. I I only listened to about an hour of it. Yeah, I listened to the whole thing. It was awesome. You listened to the whole thing? Yeah. I only got an hour in, and people were like, oh, he was talking about this. And I'm like, I fucking know. I didn't get there yet. But, um, it's crazy the way he thinks. Nuts. Bro, but Rogan, because he's right now, people are giving him shit about being a billionaire. Okay? And and Rogan's like, well, fuck everybody. Who cares? Like, you're a billionaire. Fuck yeah. Yeah. But in, in society lately, being a billionaire has got a negative connotation. Mm-hmm. And understandably so to a certain degree. But I'm like, and Elon's, or Joe's thing to Elon, he's like, or one of them said, but I'm not like an investor. I'm a manufacturer. I'm a builder. I actually make things and make billions of dollars which is kind of different because he's producing products he's making things and like he became a billionaire that way and me personally bro if you know a way to become a billionaire i don't if if you had anybody if i met anybody and said if you work as hard as you can at something you're good at and became a billionaire would you feel bad about it if i became a billionaire from doing what i do I would not feel bad about it. If no. I knew somebody that became a billionaire, like say Andy Frasilla became a billionaire, mm-hmm. okay? Uh, why would I say anything bad about him? I'd be like, please teach me. Yeah. Tell me about <laughs> yeah, it. Right. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. it's, it's an incredible accomplishment. Mm-hmm. Is it, do, do, or, but the thing is, is 
most I don't know I, I don't know any billionaires, but people are probably like, oh, he's a piece of shit cocksucker. He does whatever, which Elon Musk catches a lot of shit for. Mm -hmm. So he's apparently selling all his materialistic things. He did, yeah. He he, he did and is. But he goes all uh, of his homes. Yeah, he bought he bought somebody's famous home that Gene like, Wilder. Gene Wilder that lived across from him because he said they were going to destroy it. So Gene he was Wilder's like, his house is like a fucking. Mm -hmm. It's just a, an incredible. It's all Gene Wilder's dead, and it's all like everything is very characteristic of him. Yeah, yeah. So and there's like Elon, secret doors and stuff. Yeah, in Elon there. Musk bought it so it wouldn't get knocked down because it was in his neighborhood, and apparently the the people were the, were going to buy it, were going to knock it down and get rid of it. And he's like, "No, I'm buying it and keeping it the same." <laughs> yep. Like that's a fucking baller move. He just owns it. It's yeah. just sitting there. Doesn't live in there. No, yeah. he, he lives in his other home. Mm -hmm. Apparently, he has a lot of homes. And anyway, uh, he sold that off. He's selling it off or sold it off. And his thing was, is the person that does buy it can't do anything to it. They can't knock it down. It's a stipulation. He's like, I'm not going to make any money off it. I'm going to, I'm going to lose money, but don't fuck with the house. I'll always be there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and that was his thing, preserving that. And I'm like, man. Dude's cool. And then they got on the subject. Joe was asking him about, like, would you, uh, like, would you ever want to do your custom, a custom home build, a custom Elon Musk house? Mm. And he's like, yeah. He's like, would it be like a Tony Stark type home? And he's like, yeah. Yes, yeah. He's for like, sure. It would be fucking hidden fucking helicopter pad and all this crazy shit. And I'm like, yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. If I was, if I had that kind of money, I'd do something ludicrous as well. Oh, yeah. But then they got this, uh, at, well, as that, it was like Elon's like, well, he's like, I had to make a decision. Do I want to build a custom home where I become very anal retentive and OCD about every little nook and cranny of building my fucking insane Elon Musk, Tony Stark type of home? Mm -hmm. Or do I want to spend my time going to Mars? <laughs> Getting us to Mars, he said. And I'm like, I'm, dr I'm on my track. It's about the same <laughs> amount of time. <laughs> To, to get there or to build the home. He's like, so I chose the latter, getting taking us to, to Mars. Mars. Yeah. And I'm like, who the fuck thinks like that? I'm talking about fucking sitting on my tractor, listening to country music, fucking going on a crazy vacation or something, and this dude's going to Mars. That dude probably has a house on Mars already. I don't I don't know what goes on in... in like, it, like, when he wakes up in the morning, what does he think about? What is his mindset so, as soon as his eyes open? He So he broke down his time... With like businesses, he really? Goes, yeah, he goes. Oh, I spent about I think it was like seventy something percent on Tesla, twenty five or something percent on SpaceX, five percent on Neuralink, and then one percent like do whatever. One percent on bottom him up, bud. Yeah, <laughs> playing God. with my kid. Like, my man's crazy with like his time management. He only gets like four hours of sleep. Yeah, and he thinks that's enough. Like I mean, what it, which I, it is? I, I would say I'm four. I'm four four to six hours is yeah. plenty of sleep. Yep. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people that function on five hours of sleep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mark Magna, dude's a fucking animal. Yeah. Mark Magna's awesome, by the way. But yeah. Elon's just crazy. Yes. Like, he just thinks way differently. They were talking about Neuralink, that chip you guys Neuralink, were talking yeah, that about. Neuralink, yeah, that's what it's called. He was, <laughs> Joe was like, hey, uh, how long until people can install this in their brains? He goes, uh, five years. And Joe's like, five years? <laughs> he goes, maybe 10. <laughs> More like 10. <laughs> it's nuts. It, he, it, it works he, the same as like a heart. Uh, what do you call those? Like a heart regulator. The yeah. Um, because they were asking like the success rate and can it fail? Like yeah, it's, it's the same as all these things. I'm going to go ahead and say they're probably already testing it on people. Not yet. Under a year, they might. They might be. I don't. After after all the bullshit that's going on in the world right now. I don't believe what anybody says about any technological advances. Whatever they say, I think they're lying. I don't believe shit they said. I would say they're already doing it, and that's just it. Elon responds like a computer. Yes. Like he takes your question. Analyzes it. And then spits it out. And Absolutely. he's like, oh, no, it's actually this. I'm kind of, I'm, I'm the complete opposite. I'm just going to let shit spew out of my mouth. Whatever I'm thinking is coming out, and that's what you're getting with me. Mm hmm That'll get you in trouble sometimes. That'll, <laughs> dumb shit will occur. I think good things hard. happen. But a lot of good has also happened from it. Especially for me. <laughs> and my thing is, is I also... <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's, it's entertaining. I, I would consider myself more of a motivator, influencing uh, entertainment character than anything. Mm -hmm. And he's, he's SpaceX. SpaceX and... Mm -hmm. like, yeah. Uh, uh, autonomous ships. driving is the big thing coming 
that's the big thing that's getting pushed with uh, all uh, the whole the whole thing autonomous driving. I don't like that. I don't like it either. But like we said last time, that's the direction we're going in. Mm-hmm. That's where we're heading. I feel like autonomous driving, like the cars, will go the speed limit. I want to go like sixty-five and a forty. Yeah, I don't want to go forty. Go. That's and illegal, 40. Shane. You know what? That no, yeah. if they don't catch me. <laughs> <laughs> Not if I'm. They don't catch me. That's right. Oh man. Oh shit. Good times. Yeah. Oh. I'm ready for the nice weather. I rearranged the bottles. Did you? Just to space some things things out, like the bourbon shelf was throwing me off, so like I did like little clusters of like, you know, just trying it out. Oh, a little different cluster action there. I also saw that uh, there was a basil 10 on that bottom shelf hidden in the corner, so now we have... Yeah, we have we have a couple of them because the show just throws that back like it's fucking it's seven up. It's so delicious. <laughs> seven up. Basil Hayden's Basil Hayden's ten is probably the <laughs> easiest drinking whiskey you can fucking get. Yep. Phenomenal. Delicious. I I'm gonna say that George T. Stag was one of my favorite bourbons. Me too. To date. Mm-hmm. Pappy, very distinct flavor. But if I was to have, if I was to have like an after dinner. Fucking or pre dinner or afternoon drink in the wintertime or like a summertime, pretty much whenever I would like a good bourbon, George T. Staggs is what I'm going to drink. Yep. Fire. The E.H. Taylor is also very good. Yeah, that's the that's, that's the straight rye. rye. Uh, well, best rye I've ever had. I, I do like a good rye. Mm-hmm. Good, good rye. rye guys. I got my humidor in. Did you? Bought a fucking sick little fuck. It's not little. It's a fucking. It'll fit a hundred cigars. Is it like a cabinet or like a chest? It's a. It's a chest. Cool. It's a hundred cigars. Uh, I wanted to start with that. Make sure I do it right. Mm-hmm. Um, it's uh, so I got my humidor because cigars and cigars and whiskey and scotch can't fucking go wrong. So I got that and I had to season it and I'm making sure I get all the humidity right in it and it has to get seasoned so it'll take a few it'll take a few days mm-hmm. and then I put all my cigars in. I bought a stupid amount of cigars by the way. Nice, lots. So I'm excited. More than ten. <laughs> yes. <laughs> a good bet. Cool. But uh, yeah, I'm I, I've never, I've never gotten into them. I've never really been. No one I've like hung out with was really into them, or they were like shitty cigars. It's a and... fucking Honey Rambod move. Yeah, he got me into scotch. He got me into cigars. He got me into just all the all high end shit. Is Honey Rambod? It all started with him when I had no fucking money, and whenever I went to San Jose, we went to a fucking cool fucking cigar cigar joint, and he was telling me all about cigars, all the shit, drinking scotch, all this stuff, and I'm like. I get it, dude. It's a lot of fun how to pair them and just the different flavor profiles and how it rolls. Mm-hmm. Like, you just know if you drink three different whiskeys or three different bourbons or three different scotches, they all taste different. Mm-hmm. And then it doesn't matter which one was more expensive. It matters which one you liked. Yeah. So that's the beauty of it all. You know, and then the same thing goes with cigars. I'm not a huge... Uh, a lot of people are big time Connecticut fans. Like the Connecticut, it's a it's a lighter smoke. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I'm I'm not a big fan. I like a, a full bodied, full flavored cigar. I don't know how to smoke them. I only know how to inhale. Oh yeah, I'm really good at inhaling. Yeah, you don't want to do that. Oh. I'm Get a, all sick. Mm. You're My just, mouth's you're just supposed to taste it, right? Like that's the idea. You're just tasting. Yeah, it's the almost smoke. like it, it it coats your mouth, rolls around it. Like uh, I'd say, like there's certain ones like a heavy. A full-bodied cigar like a like a like an Arturo Fuente Opus X, like it's almost spicy, mm. almost peppery, Man. wild. So it's good. It's. I feel like I'd look good with a cigar now that I got the stash. Oh fuck yeah! yeah. I love sitting and having a smoke. Mm. Love it. I don't know a lot about them. I just read about them and then I taste them and I see what I like and then again if I if there was like some cigar aficionado. That I knew. All for it. I, Tell me about it. I could it. probably roll him pretty well. Probably could. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah. I bought a really expensive cigar. That, uh, to Opus X Lost City. I saw it. They were available. Had to buy one. What does that run? It's like a $35 cigar. Okay. 
fuck yeah man <laughs> fucking very expensive cigar I i'm was sure like, there's others that are even more like, yeah like, uh like what's a is there like a such thing as a hundred dollar cigar i don't know i haven't gotten that high yeah. because honey's big opus x guy so his, that's one of his that's one of his favorite cigars and then i saw that they had on other sites they don't have them available mm -hmm. they're, they're 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 not too hard to find but if i saw that they were available i was buying one yeah so i bought one cool yeah their cigars are stupid expensive oh really oh yeah like per box Oh, oh, bro, per box. You buy a box of fucking cigars, it's going to be a few hundred bucks. Well, there's uh, there's a few that are like fucking 18,000. Oh, bitch. Yeah. Nice. Even more, 30,000. God damn. Yeah. The Arturo Fuente Opus X Limited. Hmm. Yep. 30,000 per box. That's what I did. What's that? How many is in a box? Uh, I don't know. Good question. 20, 20, 25 sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I think that's something like that, depending on the size. Yeah, if you look up, uh, would say, pull them up on the computer. Look up uh, Opus X. So much so we can see them. Stogies. Price. Ten things to know about uh, Fuente Fuente. I'm way better at Googling things on my phone. It's the same goddamn thing. How about how people love whenever we get on chain shit about Googling stuff? Like we just degrade them. Here, there you go. This is what I was looking at. That's crazy, huh? Cohiba's. Most expensive cigar. Yeah, it's the same. Limited. I wouldn't pay that. Look at that. Gurkha Royal Cartesian Cigar, one million. <laughs> That's nothing. <laughs> Elon Musk said six million dollars was cheap. <laughs> by the way, <laughs> is that what did he? yeah, he did say that. <laughs> nice. Nice. Imagine like, yeah, it's gonna be like six million. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> I thought it'd be more. <laughs> Not even blink a fucking eye. Oh, okay. Not bad. Well, uh, <laughs> imagine being able to imagine being able to pay for that amount with something and it work. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, I, yeah, it's so stupid. Like, sometimes you got to fucking call because they're like, oh, you're over oh, your daily limit. Your, your $2,500 limit on your debit card. Yeah, you're it's like, going to be six million. It. Do yeah. you take American Express? <laughs> Go get my wallet. <laughs> hey, get my checkbook. Excuse me while I transfer some money on my account. <laughs> Do you get extra long checks when you have to write something like that? <laughs> Do you take Bitcoin? <laughs> fucking oh, Bitcoin. Man. Bro, that's wild. What we, okay, so me personally, like I don't, re I don't really like live too crazy of an extravagant life. Mm -hmm. I live well within my means. I'm a very simple guy. I attest that to my cheap as fuck father, mm -hmm. like that son of a bitch in so many ways. Uh, but if I had a billion dollars, I don't know that I would live too much differently than I do now. Because I just enjoy, like, the way I live. Like, the home, the home that I, I'm looking at and would like to, would like to buy, it's, still a, it's just another home that anybody that does very well for themselves can purchase. Mm -hmm. It's like, I like nice trucks. I might have, like, a car dealer. I might have a truck dealership in my driveway. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. But it's like, I'd have those, but I don't know if I'd be like, I don't know. I wouldn't have a 10,000 square foot home. I'd never see my kids. I might own, like, I definitely would own vacation homes, you know? Yeah, I'd, I'd own homes. I'd have, I'd have investment homes in, in, in Florida, Outer Banks, probably up north, you know what I mean? Maybe up in, like, Vermont or Massachusetts, some kind of cool spot up there. Mm -hmm. I'd like to travel up there, Maine, because I want to go eat lobster. I'd probably do that. That's probably what I would do. Yeah. Anywhere that I would want to go enjoy cuisine at, I'd probably own some type of very nice home there and then just have, like, a car there or a vehicle or a not a V. What the fuck am I saying? I'd have a truck. Probably have the same truck that I own here and at my seven different homes. Mm -hmm. That's probably what I'd do. I'd go on extravagant vacations like I like I want to do within my life. Like those are life goals that I have. But I I like working. I enjoy having somewhere to go every single day and putting what I have passion about into it. I'm such a collector. I I think. 
I think yeah. I'd get it. I think I'd get in a little deep. <laughs> like I, I'd be in deep. Like if I was a billionaire, like. But but the, but the thing is, you wouldn't really be in deep that way because you're like Elon Musk. Ha, huh, six million dollars, bro. What the fuck am I buying for six million dollars? That's what I mean. Like, what if I want a garage of every year of some just one car? Yeah. I, <laughs> okay, listen. My mind doesn't work like that, though. I know. My that's why is, it's fucked up. I'm my a, mind does not work like that. I want if I have something, I ha, I'm buying it for a specific reason. Like, like I'd be like, oh, like if I can't use it, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna buy it. Like mm-hmm. I'd buy the, I, I'd buy the truck because I need a truck. Oh, well, this is my nice truck. I need a work truck. I wouldn't have six trucks. Because I'd never enjoy them, I never drive them. I'd be like, ah, not really used to having that. I mean, I can't say that because I'm not in that position. But at the same time, I'm like, if I can't drive it, I I wouldn't buy it. Yeah. If I can't utilize it, I wouldn't buy it. So like, that's in my head. I'm trying to rationalize that the 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 amount of money that these people have and what they do. Mm-hmm. And I don't. Uh, I mean, I'm not saying I wouldn't like to have it somehow. Like, who yeah. doesn't dream about hitting the fucking Powerball for 450 million fucking dollars? I definitely have a boat. I, yeah, I, 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 I don't know what my first, th- my actual first thing I would do. Like, let's say that, like the, the, the fucking Powerball. You hit the Powerball for four hundred fifty million fucking dollars. Yeah, four hundred fifty million. Four hundred fifty million dollars. You win the fucking Powerball. What's the first thing you buy, and what what type of person do you think you would become? Because that's a lot of money. I mean. I always thought like my first thing uh-huh. would all my first thing would always to be to write be able to write that big check like to my parents and they'd be able to pay off their home and do all the shit. Oh, absolutely! You know that was oh, that's that's like that really good good Samaritan good person side of me. Oh yeah, like, like that was always like my my thing. Other than that, I mean, I don't know. My, all my all my shit would obviously be paid off because I I. I if I don't do auto pay on all of my things for- with everything going on in our lives in my forget. life, I fucking forget immediately. Yeah. But then I'm like, oh, my parents, like obviously my family. And when you have that much money, you're like, nobody has any bills. Nobody has any house payments. Nobody has that. that that's all obviously a great thing, but that gets you so far. Mm-hmm. And like, I need to, I need to work. If I'm not working or doing something, I'll go crazy. Mm hmm. That's just kind of how I built things, and I'm watching my dad. I'm going to retire. This is year number eight now. Okay. <laughs> year eight of retirement, huh, Dad? You haven't retired yet. You've been saying it for eight solid years. I've been hearing it for four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, you've been hearing it. So it's like he, he can't stop. Mm-hmm. And I equate, I know that's probably going to happen to me because I am for, for passionate sure about – I don't have enough hobbies to occupy me. Mm-mm. I enjoy a cigar. Why do I enjoy a cigar? Why do I enjoy a bourbon? Because after a hard day's work or a hard week's work, I like to enjoy that. I can't go play golf and enjoy a cigar every fucking day. Mm -mm. I'll get tired. I need something. I need a a challenge, an ambition. I need something, a feeling. Like new, like new feelings. I like, I like getting. Yes. Yeah. What what am I? uh, Yeah. So I don't know. I definitely have cool shit though. Mm Mm-hmm. I, I, I probably like I said I'd have a boat. But I'd then, have but, but I'd then, have like a hundred cars. <laughs> I believe him. Oh, bro! I had no, I no, had no, for no, four hundred fifty no, no. million hundred fucking cars, at least a hundred cars. And you'd still have money left over. Like a hundred, like a like hundred by one hundred garage of just BMW, and then a Porsche garage, and then and then the the classics. <laughs> or the racetrack. Good point. Yeah. I guess you you know what? I'm maybe, and then I'd invite everyone over and be like, hey, you know, let's go through this garage. Maybe I, I am underestimating what I would do because you're right. You would be like, if I, I get had, fascinated if I had with that this kind story. of money, I'd be like, oh, let, let's put a fucking racetrack in that we all can go play on mm-hmm. and have fun on and invite people over and do cool shit like that. Like, we, oh, mm-hmm. like, oh, like fucking somebody's kids in the fucking dirt bike riding and bob's like well i got a billion dollars let's build a dirt bike track and open up a dirt bike track yeah let's give such an 
I know exactly what I do. Fuck. I, I do a lot of cool <laughs> You're shit. You're right. For I'd be like, let's do a fucking dirt bike track here and let's get such and such to fucking run the dirt bike track because I just want to be able to go ride a dirt bike. And Jimmy, who's a dirt bike rider and all this, let's fucking put Jimmy in charge of it. Jimmy runs a dirt bike track. Yeah. Oh, uh, like, let's open up a fucking race car track. And whenever I want to race race cars, I'm going to go fucking around my track. But let's give it to such and such because he knows all about how to do it. He's going to run it. Mm-hmm. So now there's fucking 50 people employed at the race car track. You are, your name's on it because you're cool and King Dick with your fucking cool shit and all your money. But you're like, I don't give a fuck. I really just want to race my car once a month on the track, okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But Jimmy runs it and he does it. And it <laughs> Yeah. First thing I'm doing if I hit the lottery like that, I'm making someone take me out to dinner and pay for it. (laughs) Just to keep them humble, you know? (laughs) You're paying someone to do that for you? No, I'm not paying them. They're taking me out to dinner, and then they're paying for it. Hey, I hit the lottery. Take me out to dinner. This is why nobody likes Shane. Yeah. (laughs) No, I I probably want to – I need to invest. I'd probably invest – go into a sport investing group. Nope. Nope, I, I I would do I would do, I'd just build as much cool shit, find a place to put it, and and yeah, I would just I'd buy cool shit. I'd I'd, I'd buy up, courtside tickets to. I'd open Lakers. up a fucking yep. I'd open up a fucking coffee joint here. I just want to be able to stop into a really cool coffee joint every day. I just want coffee this way. You're own gonna run coffee, it. coffee, own bourbon distillery. You're, own. you're gonna run it all. You're gonna do it all. I'm just gonna come get the coffee, and you're gonna say, "Here's your coffee, Seth. Have a good day." And I'm gonna be like, "Yeah, thanks. You too. <laughs> See ya. See you tomorrow. See, see you tomorrow. Same time." <laughs> <laughs> It'd be like, it, <laughs> yeah, I definitely do dumb shit like that. I just want like some of the privileges of like. Like having that kind of money. Like I don't actually want the money. I just like want like the side the side stuff from it. It's hard to even. It's hard to fathom. I couldn't imagine looking at my bank account and it's saying four hundred fifty million dollars. <laughs> no, that's what I mean. I'd be like, what am I going to do differently? Because I really enjoy my life. I love what I have and I love what I do. Like I don't know. I don't know what I would do. Like what happens when you win? You get do you get that check and then what do you do you with it? You get a it? lot of phone calls from people too. Do you take to get shit from you? Do you just go to the bank and you're like going to PNC, hey, need to make a deposit. Here, put this in there. <laughs> what what do I do with my hands now? Where do I go? I don't know. Do I need a deposit slip or can <laughs> you just make this work? Do I just put that in? <laughs> Uh, they say that it's hard. It, that a lot of people have a hard time when they win the lottery. A lot yeah. of people come out of the woodwork. A lot of people fucking. A lot of identity theft. A lot of you'd probably have to do a whole lot of shit, man. Be tough. Probably a whole lot of bad family bullshit too. Uh, yeah, no, I wouldn't. I don't know. Yeah, I'd probably. Uh, and yep. Mm-hmm. It's cool to think about racetrack. I think everybody has these these thoughts and what they would do. And obviously, obviously one of my things is, is, uh, you know, take care of your, take care of your fucking siblings and your family and mm-hmm. all that. And never have to have a house payment again. It's a cool feeling. Mm-hmm. Everybody. Fuck. There's people out there that would definitely be like, I'd have my own family lane. Like their, their, their name would be called like Ferrosi way. Yeah. And like the seven families would all live on, live on the same road with mm-hmm. the houses and everybody get, all this and whatever they want, whatever vehicle they'd want, all that. I'd love to change my my address because I am like my own road. You are your own road. Yeah. yeah, I just don't know the process. It's people already can't find my shit via GPS. If I change it now, you I feel change like it to I'm fucked, Bob's dude. way. Yeah, it's gonna be nobody's gonna go. Oh, we have a hard time finding it. Oh my God, is that awesome? Four twenty High Street. <laughs> my grandmother lived on High Street growing up. Nice. So funny. <laughs> <laughs> would be like <laughs> high street. your that street sign, sign would get fucking stolen bro, it all the did. time the one corner it was uh it, it was right across from a uh like a park and a baseball field so there was like no eyes on this one corner that's where the fucking street sign got stolen every time oh, yeah this yeah. one time in college so we we'd get all fucked up in college obviously it was five guys living together my brother me paul uh jeremy and uh who was the other one? Aaron. He, we all lived in this fucking spot right on 7th Street, okay? On 7th Street, that's Frat Row. So we get all fucked up. We were right in the middle of everything. Just shit show. 
So Jake was quite the partier, even though now he's like a fucking goody two shoes, which is pretty crazy. Mm -hmm. Doctor goody two shoes and Jake this story. <laughs> so Jake used to get fucking all tanked up, and he'd go fucking his uh, his one eye would go fucking like. Uh. <laughs> It fucking, one eye would go limp as fuck. Yeah, just start drooping down. So whenever that happened to Jake, you knew Jake go, was fucking go. tuned up. Yep. He's in it. So one night we were, uh, I'm hanging out. I'm just hanging out at the house. I didn't go out and party. I was just fucking chilling, probably burning one, whatever. And uh, I think it was a Wednesday. Maybe it was a Thursday. Anyway, all of a sudden, I see Paul running fucking blast through the fucking door of the apartment. And just, he's fucking all fucking arms <sighs> and legs everywhere. He's like, man, that was wild. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? He burst through the door. And sure enough, he's like, fucking your brother's behind me. Just running. He disappeared. And then all of a sudden, he reappeared. And Jake comes run, running through the fucking door with a nine-foot stop sign. <laughs> fucking nine-foot long stop sign. He comes in the house, throws it on the ground. And I'm like... What the fuck is going on right now? We're on fucking main drag of IUP, and yeah. here you are with a fucking... Like, everybody watched you come in the fucking door, Jake. Yeah. <laughs> like, we don't need the cops coming in here right now. And, and he's like, hey, I stole it. I'm like, I know. I Why? see. <laughs> Why did you steal the fucking stop sign? He's like, because it's big. Look how big this is. <laughs> oh, it was a fucking riot. <laughs> Yep, so Jake uh, Jake stole a stop sign in college. I think that's a federal offense. We, we did that a lot. Yeah. There was Dowtrick, he stole Dowtrick Road. There's a Dowtrick Road back home. I took that. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, I did the same thing. Yeah. yeah. So then It's a cool road, too. I always wanted to live on there. Yeah. yeah. Now you can, if you want. I could. Probably, yeah. yeah. You could do whatever you want. <laughs> Damn With right I can. <laughs> can you technically make <laughs> to your like your driveway two streets? Since one goes up and it branches probably on. yeah, in like intersection. That of one's more Bob of a Daltrick. more of an access road. Everything in Bell mm. Township moves a little slow. Yeah, yeah, it's good. I like it there. Mm -hmm. nobody, like gives it. You, nobody gives you any shit. No, the six hundred people are very welcoming. <laughs> yes, they, I can do whatever I want. I've talked to three of them. <laughs> I you love know. it. I uh, that's the other thing. I love country living, man. I'll, I'll take that over anything. I love it. Every yeah, like I've only talked to like three people. But they all know everything that's going on. Bro, my neighbor, my na my neighbor Stan, fucking sent me a text message last night at like nine thirty, ten o'clock, of pictures of bear, three houses up from my house. Oh fuck! Yeah, he's like, hey, he's like, I thought you'd like to know this. This is at such and such's house right now. It's mama bear and three cubs, right up the road, dude. And I'm like, cause. Uh, Lou mentioned it too. He's like, "Yeah, bear, we're coming through not too long ago." And then, sure enough, they're still here. Is there is there like a time of day that the, you're more prone to see them? I'm not sure. I don't know enough about bear, but I would probably scary say, as fuck. Mama bear with three cubs. Just don't fuck with mom. Yeah. If you see the cub, just kind of leave it alone. Yeah, get the fuck away. Mama bear, she'll take some steps after you. Yeah, she'll just take like don't let their nose get. Their their cubs and you in the same sniff. Yeah, don't get mm -hmm. between them. Yeah. Don't oh, get yeah. between them. Yeah. Like, just even unknowingly. Well, Emmy has been going outside on her own and walking around the driveway and hanging out. She just does her own thing outside, man. She likes being yeah. outside. We live, in, we live in the fucking woods. It's nice to go see. And then I was like, okay, so they're here. So I'm like, Emmy, no more fucking nature walks around the property. Yeah. No more walks up the driveway. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm. Can't. Bro. I know. Fuck no, dude. She'll get eaten. Yeah. Everybody says bear are more afraid of humans than you are of them, but with mama bear and the cubs, no. you, you can't. Yeah, you no. can't. Uh, what are you gonna, What are you gonna do? Fucking six year old out there looking at cub, looking at bear cubs. Like a mama bear coming to eat you. Fuck, I don't know what I would do. I'd shoot the motherfucker if it came after me. Well, yeah, I would it try. Won't, it won't come out. It, put it this way. Uh, like, if you're there near it. Mama bear might come after you, and if she does come after you, you take off as fast as you can to a safe spot. More than likely, after a certain distance, you get away from her. Mm -hmm. More than likely. I'm not saying that's going to happen. She'll stop running and go back to her cubs. Mm -hmm. If she understands that the threat is diffused and you're gone, you know I'm not out. I'm, out, I'm not out running a bear, right? Yes. Yeah, it depends. Kind of depends on how fast you are. <laughs> That. Like I'm if they give there. up, I yeah, I yeah. have a feeling that they if 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 they're if any if that type of animal is threatened enough, 
until they feel that that threat is diffused, you're fine. If it's hungry, it's not stopping until it gets you. Mm -hmm. But if it's doing it from a threat, until that threat's diffused, they'll probably stop. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, bears are, you can fucking, you see videos and hear about guys fucking screaming at a bear or getting big and the bear runs away or that or this, but I'm not taking that chance. No. No, like if I go up and I act big and scream, like my luck, I'm like, some, they're some, just getting going to get pissed off and yeah. Mm -hmm. fucking. So, I mean, there's, it's like the guy got his fucking face eaten by a fucking bear up north. You see that crazy video? Mm -mm. You didn't see the video? No, I'm not watching it. Oh my. Bro, dude, dude good. Uh, they were on snowmobiles. Dude got his face eaten off. His face is removed. And he's oh. talking on and a he's video. Talking on the video. He's still alive somehow. He killed the bear and it ripped his fucking face off. Nose is gone. His face is gone. This right here. Like his nose, his mouth, his one eyeball is hanging. It's all gone. Yeah. His kid saved his life. Wow. Yeah. And yeah. But yeah. So I don't I mean <sighs> I ain't fucking with it. I don't know enough about it. I just as much as what I just said is as much as I know. You just mm -hmm. gotta play dead. Fuck you, dude. No, I'm running. <laughs> Like in uh, it's what, not, what's it's it not called? Tyrannosaurus Rex. You're not staying still because it's infrared sight so can't see you or whatever. I mean Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah. He he took a beating. He did. That movie was awesome. It's a cool movie. That, yeah, I love that. One movie. of the best. Did movies. you ever hear? Do you know the real story? Mm -mm. The, the movie didn't play out. The real life scenario didn't play out the same way as the movie. Mm. Yeah. The movie's The Revenant. Yes. Right? Yeah, yeah. The movie yeah. The Revenant. But about uh, about about him, it is. It's based on a true story. Yeah. But apparently the ending is different. Mm -hmm. Doesn't end the same way in real life as it did in the movie. Gotcha. I listened to some. I listened to like some type of nature or uh, history podcast about it. Tom Hardy's in that too, right? Yeah, that, yeah, Tom Hardy's the fucking the dickhead. Yeah, he played the such villain. a great character in that movie. Yeah, everybody's a big Tom Hardy fan too. Big Tom Hardy fan. Yeah, I still gotta watch the Warrior. Yeah, I bought it. It's still on Amazon. Bro. Renting it, but great movie. I know. I great movie. It. Maybe tonight. Um, Last night was UFC fights I had to watch. But uh I'm uh I can't wait to eat this weekend. Oh, what are you what are you going after there? I think this okay. weekend what I'm I think what I'm doing this weekend is I well I got a I got a new grill and I got a pizza stone for the grill. You bought a pizza stone for the grill? It's a Weber pizza stone. I'm so excited. I know. And How pumped are you guys? Dude, we're just trying to find the right dough recipe because I want that nice... Uh, bubbly? Bubbly, airy. crunchy, airy crust, and it gets like... Uh, Brown? Yeah. yeah. Burnt almost? Yes. Yeah. And like they dust the bottom with flour, Fuck and it's yeah. like... Yeah. Man, Dave Portnoy would be proud. I think so. Yeah. Bro. Pizza stone. Fuck yeah. I also got a... Uh, it's a fajita top for the top of the grill, bro. All you do, oh, you, you mean that you mean like a flat top? Yeah, yeah it's, it it's called there. a fajita top, though. Oh, okay. And like you literally, there's like little areas you can put like your chicken in one, your steak in the other, shrimp in the other, your vet, uh, peppers and onions here, bro. All on the grill. So great. <laughs> I'm, I'm so, excited for you. I'm so pumped. I was being a, I was being a foodie last night, and I just got on these. I got on these crazy chant these. Uh, Crazy Instagram places that just do straight food and all the people that are really good at cooks, but they're actually at home cooks or maybe they're chefs at home or whatever. Yeah. Bro, that was the flat tops. I was watching flat tops. People do their own flat tops. So fucking cool. Like seafood flat top. Then they did their own hibachi flat top. And I'm like, I would love to learn. I would love to do that. The food's different on, on that. On a flat top. You can get a different I would flavor love to do on it. Flat top burgers. Like, I want to do it outside too. Mm -hmm. I am an outdoor. I'm an outdoor griller. Yeah, mm -hmm. I would love to do it. Like a flat top burger with the fucking cheese and the toast the buns. Like throw the buns oh, yeah. on with some butter and they get boom, 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 boom. Yeah, I love food. <laughs> did Did you see uh, Bobby Flay reposted our dinner? Bro. How fucking cool is that? Bobby Flay reposted Kim's dinner. Yeah, I was so pumped up. I, like, you posted it. I got so excited. I was like, I feel like Bobby Flay just reposted something of mine. Yeah, I was dude, so it was pumped. pretty cool. It was, it was funny because he reposted it and two, uh, 
two stories later, his third repost after hours was Serena Williams. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm like, look at this. <laughs> like me, Serena category. Williams, Bobby Flay, <laughs> fucking hanging out. So here's my question. I'm a huge Bobby Flay fan. Me too. So when I was training for bodybuilding and doing cardio like that, I watched all kind of fucking food, food shit. And yeah. that's when Bobby Flay was fucking... He was all Food Network, man. Mm -hmm. 2009, Bobby Flay. 2010, Bobby, yeah. Bobby Flay was the shit. Iron Chef. Coolest, coolest fucking cooking show on the planet. Dude, I loved Iron Chef. I just thought of that from Superbad. <laughs> Whenever Jonah Hill's talking, he's like, I'll be like the Iron Chef of Pounding Vaj. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, uh, fucking great, great. But, um... But Bobby Flay was always my guy, like, because yeah. he did fucking, his uh, one show, I can't remember, I don't know if it was like bo barbecue with Bobby Flay, or it was just like his home thing, yeah. where he did a meal and a fucking cocktail. Yes. Bro, dude was a badass. It has a sick grill and patio area, uh, good you, glasses and plates. And then how about how that. he's in, he was in Entourage too? Yeah. Like, do you think Bobby Flay's a little bit of a dickhead? For sure, hundred percent. Got to be right, like yes. that New York fucking, yeah, that New York swagger, because he is a badass and he is a tall guy too. Yeah, bro, he knows his food is the best. Yes, he knows, and his recipes are not fucking easy. They're some of the hardest recipes to fucking pull off. Yes, they are. Yeah, yeah, we're so, we're into him, man. We we cook a lot of his food. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm a huge Bobby Flay fan. I ate at his, uh, oh, I forget what it's called. It's in uh, it's in Atlantic City. Oh really? Yeah, at uh, what a shitty place to have. A it is. I forget what ho it's like. The nicest hotel in Atlantic City. <laughs> oh my god, he just scared the fuck out of me. Who? Show. Oh. <laughs> Popped he his head around. <laughs> I was like, oh my god. <laughs> Look up Bobby Flay's. What's the name of it? Oh, Bobby Flay Steak. Yeah, it's a. Uh, it's just like an American pub, uh -huh. but like higher end and just stupid good food. Mm. Yeah, we ate there for at the Borgata. Oh yeah. Yeah, I, want, I haven't been to any of his restaurants. Yeah, but right now he uh, he's doing a cooking from home every Saturday morning on on Food Network. No shit. Yeah, so like Fuck, they're I new. Watch they're it. new every week. We've been watching them, and then oh, I didn't even know I got to. I'm a huge. I yeah. Whenever I was training, I always like was thinking, man, he's just such a badass, and he always had like a. Oh, that looks fire. He oh. always has a. He has a. He has a very strong personality. Yeah. That's why I like, like very sure of himself. Mm -hmm. And then like in, uh, in Entourage, he's an asshole. Yeah. It's awesome. He yeah. Was a, I like that. Uh, I like his show Beat Bobby Flay. Yeah. Where like two guys go head to head and then he'll mm -hmm. verse them. I think, I think other people, I think uh, they just make him lose all the time just to make people feel better. Yeah, I think they just fuck with him. I think they uh, fuck with him. <laughs> oh, you think the judges fuck with him? Like, like, like he'll ah, lose Bobby, and, and he'll just you. be like, you fucking assholes. Like, I know I fucking it. won. Like, look at my dish. It's way better. <laughs> Fuck you guys. All right, give it to this chick. Oh, Get out of here. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, I guess he is somebody I would like to meet. He is. I don't. There's not many celebrities I would, uh, I would genuinely like really want to meet. He is one that I would like to shoot the shit with. Maybe like just be fun to like have him over, go to his house where he's in his, his own world or something like that and mm -hmm. just... I'd, I'd love for him to cook for me and it not be a chore for him and he's just really yeah, into that's it. That's kind of what yeah. I'm getting at. Yeah, I'd like I'd I'd like that the pleasure of him just doing his shit and someone appreciating it or I even, appreciating his cuisine and insult me too. Go ahead, call yeah, me. Yeah, I, I don't care. care. <laughs> I even I even liked him on uh, uh, one of Portnoy's pizza reviews. Like he was even very confident on the pizza review. Knew what he's talking about with his. Pies. Oh yeah, he fucked with him too. Yeah, he, he was did. A dick. Big time. Fuck yeah. Yeah, Bobby Flay fucked with Dave Portnoy. Yeah, that's a baller move. It is Good a baller job. move. Good job. Got to. He knew he had to. They're both the fucking Boston New Yorkers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Bobby Flay. Fucking, I'm excited for you, goat. dude. I'm excited for you to have a fucking the pizza stone and the I can't wait. top. Yeah. It's awesome. You yeah. know. Yeah, I, yeah I can't wait to throw this old fucking grill out. I'm glad we got that dumpster. It's coming right down. Oh, that thing yeah. is shot. Yeah. Embarrassing. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking Shane unloaded it for me off the truck. I know. Good job, Shane. Yeah, thanks. Thank you, Shane. He was there. Shooting. He was content. there for me. Oh man. Apparently hey, the so driver we, was a dick. 
course he is. He's a fucking truck driver, and he yeah. fucked with the road, and he had, couldn't get down, and all this. It's like, how many truck drivers give a? How many times has a truck driver been a dick when we were at my dad's shop? Oh my god! And I'd be like, listen, bud, you're gonna shut the fuck up right now. Just <laughs> yeah. straight, don't even give me any shit. Yeah. Get the fuck out of, get out of here. Don't give listen, me any shit. Listen, it's behind the sheets, and yes, you have to fucking back in. It's oh, gonna bro, suck. I was oh, such a cocksucker. Yeah. At that, that's whenever we were in the thick of things, and I was quite the dickhead. Yeah. And I was like, if somebody gave me any bit of shit, I was biting your fucking head off. And when you're spending fucking four to six hundred dollars on fucking freight at it's that time hard. and it, I don't bitch about doing my job. Shut the fuck up and do your job. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I was an asshole. I know. Big dick. But I had to, you had to get shit done. Bro, that, if it was you very, think you're gonna out dickhead me, I'm gonna be like just I'm just going to be... And it, cause yeah, don't come in here swinging listen, that thing listen, around. Listen, if we are face-to-face, -face, I'm going to be a cocksucker. Very big. If you try and be an asshole, I will bite you back. Even if you didn't mean to, I might I might snap at you just to make sure. Like you didn't mean it, right? Such an asshole. <laughs> but I'd be like, hey, if we ever would get too far, you're like, hey, I got it. Just You need to get up, go do that. Okay. All right, sounds good. I'd try to intercept it. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'd be in the corner. I'm like, okay. Don't let him get there. I'd, I'd go in. I'd intercept the conversation. I'm like, Seth, I need you here. That's like what my, it's, but that's a trait of my dad. Like, my yeah. dad would do it. Like, if somebody gave my dad shit whenever something was going on and he had to get something done or it was, it was like time, go time. Mm -hmm. If it's go time and, my, and somebody gave my dad a little bit of shit, I was like, huh, why'd you, why'd you, why didn't you just shut the fuck up? Why, why'd you have to piss him off? Why'd you have to piss him off? And I realize I have that trait too. Yeah. Not so much anymore. You're pretty good. You're pretty good lately. Yeah. Anymore. I'm just like, kind of like, all right, like this is just how it's going to go. I get mad when someone pisses you off. Yes, you do. If someone pisses yes, you, you off, if you, it, my, uh, I guess that's it. I just kind of roll back from it. And if somebody pisses you or them off, that's when I'm like, you pissed off the people that are really easy going. Yeah. If you pissed off people that are way more easygoing than me, I'm going to step in now. <laughs> yep. I get to be an asshole. Here it comes. That is very true. Uh, but we'll move on to better thoughts. So we got snacks today. I also it was pretty cool. We um, Black Rifle Coffee reached out and they sent us some. Uh, everybody knows Black Rifle Coffee. They uh, reached out and uh, this gentleman, his name is Zach. Reached out and sent us a box of goodies, so we got a bunch of coffee. Mm -hmm. And then they, s I actually purchased Black Rifle coffee. I saw you got a case. Of I the, got a case of, of the these. Cans. They're uh, canned coffees, espresso with cream. And luckily, Zachary bought us, sent us the other ones, espresso mocha, the other flavor of their canned coffee. Cool. So I bought some uh, some K cups, you know, for my coup rig. Yeah. At home. <laughs> Uh, I got the AK-47, the Koo Rig Cups. Oh, they have them in... Yeah, Black Rifle Coffee coo uh, Cups, little Koo Rig Cups. Um, <laughs> Just call them K-Cups. <laughs> yeah, K-Cups. K-Cups. <laughs> I had to, you know, add it in there. But anyway, I bought some, and then Zachary actually sent us some shit. Cool. Coffee's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Black Rifle Coffee's... The, the, the K-Cups, the AK-47 K-Cups, they're better than pretty much every other K-Cup I've got. We used to drink their shit oh, a lot. Well, I drank the shit out of it. Whenever they had their huge influx and their fucking shipping was three weeks behind, that's when I was like, all right, I got to... In the beginning. <laughs> it was whenever they had that huge influx when Starbucks was like, hey, we're going to hire 10,000 immigrants. Yeah. And fucking and Black Rifle Coffee's, uh, well, we're going to hire 10,000 vets. Yeah. That's whenever the huge swing. And they. I remember, I remember watching it. The owner was like, so we're behind three weeks on shipping. Please be patient with us. We're going to keep selling because fuck everybody else. Yep. Fuck yeah. So I'm veteran-owned, uh, whole nine. Great company. Good coffee, it is. And the coffee actually is pretty fucking good. Mm -hmm. Like the the K-Cups I got, they're better than everything I bought at the store thus far. If you like a strong, full-flavored coffee, like... What we drink this morning from them? Uh, this was Blackbeard's Delight. Really good cup of coffee. A cool name. Yeah. But uh, this ge gentleman, Zachary, he sent us uh, a care package mm -hmm. with a bunch of different coffees and then sent us this. So you can't have anything that sits in front of me. I can't. So Jay got us the Chips Ahoy limited version of Sour Patch Kids Chips Ahoy. Jay wanted us to try these cookies. I look at this cookie. Everybody can see it if you're watching it. Look at his bag of dicks. Who the fuck makes Sour Patch Kid cookies? Got to try them. 
Jay made a good point. He's like, these are definitely one-offs. He's yeah. like, because you know they're not going to be good. But it's they're, we're talking about them, and people are going to buy them. If you sell a million of them, you're in, you're in fucking, you're di- you did it, you got it. Your kids in the shopping cart when you go past them, or you're, or, you're getting or fat fucks like myself yep. want to try it. There's no way these are going to be good. They can't be. But, I yeah, I don't think so. I want to try. Uh, Shane, did you? You're drinking one of these. Yeah, right? I, I Which drink. Which one a, are you drinking? The with cream. You drinking the with cream? I I'm gonna crack it. the mocha one. I'm gonna crack them both. Fuck it. We'll drink them. All right, let's take a whiff of these bad boys. It's no, that's a no go. That's a no go for me. These smell like Sour Patch Kids and, and cookies. <laughs> it is. Because <laughs> it is. It is. It's exactly uh, what they great, said it was. Great, Let me fuck, smell great that. Great fucking analysis, Seth. Take a whiff. These cookies smell like cookies. They smell like Sour Patch Kids. It smells like Sour Patch Kid Chips Ahoy. I mean, it, it, it is what it is. So, you know what here. I'm just offended by? That there's no chocolate. Like, I know chocolate and, and Sour Patch Kids they're wouldn't prob- go together. They're probably white chips. I'm going to I'll take a half. I do want to just try like a little bite. Nope, I'm not trying it. No. Nope, I'm not. Nope. Shane? Nope. Keep them away from me. Dude. Let me just take a little... I smell those from here. This is. I feel like that's gonna kick me out of keto. That this is the <laughs> this is the worst tasting cookie I've ever had in my life. I hate the smell. I can't try them. No. Like it tastes like a cookie, kind of. But the Sour Patch Kid is so overbearing, and oh. I got the sour part now. That's a horrible cookie. Oh. Made in Mexico. Hancho and Mexico. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's iron. It has iron in it. I don't need any more of that in my fucking diet. <laughs> my thick ass blood. That's a horrible cookie. Ah, yeah. congratulations, Chips Ahoy. You just joined Pop Tarts in the limited edition shit bag. Did Pop Tart make those? Man, they, they fucked up with that. Get the- oh. I'm I'm mm-mm. So I'm gonna crack open a black rifle coffee. What's the rating this- on that? Oh, th- th- if I could give a zero, I'd give a fucking zero. That's a rookie score. Yeah, it's 0.1. <laughs> All right, you can't give a zero, so 0.1. No. Yeah. It's fucking horrible cookie. Oh, man. Espresso mocha, naturally and artificially flavored by Black Rifle Coffee. It's gluten-free, says it there. Good source of protein, 100% Colombian coffee. Hmm. Bro. This is good. Mm. I'm impressed. I haven't had the mocha one. I had the just the whipped cream. I didn't listen to you whenever you said what you thought of that one. I'm, I just kind of tuned you out. Sorry. It was, oh, you liked it? Yeah. Good. This yeah. is really good. Mm. I'd 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 buy these. I'd buy these before I buy the store bought shit. Mm-hmm. Anything at the gas station. I'd buy a case of these. I did. I bought the case of the espresso with creams to see if it's worth it. But these are fucking great. They're better than the Starbucks ones. Oh fuck yeah, those are they're better than Starbucks. Yeah, I do want to try it. There's some sugar in there. A sip won't kill you though. Mm-mm. Drink your carbs. <laughs> this one's espresso with cream. Hmm. Hmm. Oh fuck. It's light. It tastes yeah. light. I like it. Did you try this one? Um, no, I'll try it later. Cool. Bro, really fucking good. Really good. Yeah, I, I really like those. I, they're not sweet. Mm, I like that one better. Yeah, the the cream. Mm. I think the cream's better than the mocha, but I'm a cream guy. I'm not so much a mocha fan. Bro, those are good. Mm. See, like with uh, like these types of things from like a gas station, I uh, like I just drink them in one sip. Like these are one sip things. Oh yeah, I drink. I'll I'll sit. Uh, this thing will be gone in legitimately two or three minutes. Like the little. Uh, oh fuck! Remember the monster. When we'd grab like a monster uh, coffee, mm-hmm. the light, yeah, monster light coffees, yeah, the light bean or low bean or whatever. Mm-hmm. Oh fuck yeah, those are tasty. I, mm-hmm. I'm gonna say this is a uh, on the coffee scale. It's like an eight point two. Wow, high score. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I put I put like a I put the monster low be the low bean thing. Mm-hmm. It's like a seven seven. Mm-hmm. It's up there. It's still good. It's my it's my taste buds. This is my taste buds. Yeah. Fuck yeah, they nailed that. I'm impressed. I like it. Good job. Yep. Good job, guys. 
Fuck yeah. I'm pumped. I was, uh, to be honest, if you really want to know, I bought them anticipating them to suck. Mm-hmm. Because I'm a co- I'm a canned coffee person. I love them. I don't always buy them because it's higher in sugar. Mm-hmm. But like whenever I do like to have it, if I'm going for a drive or if I'm doing, uh, if I did a shit ton of cardio in the morning, if I did like an hour of cardio and I was like, I'm going to grab something and treat myself, and I would grab a canned coffee. Oh, that, that's fucking, that's tasty. It's tough to get into uh, like canned liquid items and, uh, and stuff like this, right? It's uh, it's not tough. Uh, you got to have a lot of fucking money. Mm-hmm. It's it's uh, you, you gotta have a lot of fuck. You invest a lot of money. I do the volume, volume, mm-hmm. straight volume. Yeah, um, but no, no. I think it's I like them. I'm not a huge. I don't like. I do <clears> not <throat> like drinking things that are so sweet they hurt my teeth. Agreed. This is not that sweet. There sugar is, jackets. There is, there is sugar. What do we got? Sugar content in here. Uh, it's 23 grams of sugar. So there is a good bit of sugar in here, but it's not sweet. It's not like overly sweet. Mm-hmm. If we could get that fucking cold brew coffee from Australia that we had at Massive you, Joe's. That son of a bitch won't send us any. I oh, get it. They're glass bottles. It's, <laughs> it's, like super, it's made in Australia. Super protect it and don't tell customs. I know. Ship it out. Put it in. Send us a couple Haven't hoodies. Have you send any drugs in the mail? What the fuck? Oh, come on. I know. I know. Come on. Drugs, money. I've sent it all in the mail. You're fine. You're fine. <laughs> customs catch you. Fuck them. They're not looking for us. They're not looking for us. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Oh, Jesus. Oh, man. Uh, yep, I'm ready for the nice weather. I'm ready for it all. I, I think that, uh, man, grilling, all the good stuff. I can't wait. It's supposed to be 85 next weekend. I saw that. Next Saturday, it said 82, and I think it's back up. But... Uh, I'm there. It was really nice yesterday. Oh, it was gorgeous Shot yesterday. Shot my bow. I'll fucking it was awesome. Take it. I saw that. I oh, look. Now drop back down. Back down to 75. Fucking cocksucker. Pittsburgh weather. Oh, email from Bobby Ray Hall. <laughs> oh, look at that. What does he have to say to you? Hi, buy my cars. <laughs> Hello. Would you like to purchase another vehicle? Yes. Yes, I would. What do you have What, what do you have in mind there, Jimmy? What do you got there, Jimbo? <laughs> I call everybody Jimmy. Yeah, like if you're like a story, oh, yeah. well, Jimmy down Jimmy the street. Jimmy down the street. Oh, bro, I remember there was this one time my mom was fucking ripping our ass. So m- me, Whitney, and Jake, uh, we were fucking just busting my oldest sister Amanda's balls, saying just being fucking kids, just going way too hard at her sibling mm-hmm. and made her cry and all that shit. And my mom fucking laid into us. I'm probably like eight, maybe nine. Whitney, my older sister, but younger than Amanda, she was the one being a bitch. But, you know, we all jump in, chime in. And uh, so my mom's fucking just yelling at us. She's like, you wouldn't fuck, you wouldn't do this to Joe Schmo down the road and just going off on us. She said, she said, Joe Schmo down the road. And I'm like, I don't know no Joe Schmo down the road. Who the fuck is Joe Schmo? Like, I know fucking, I know such and such that lives down the road. And then I find, Jimmy. <laughs> like, I know everybody down the road. Like, I was like expecting Joe Schmo to be a real person. So then mid fucking my mom ripping our ass. And she says, you wouldn't do it to Joe Schmo. You, or you do something like that to Joe Schmo down the road, not to your sister and all this. And I say, mom, who's Joe Schmo? Fucking Are you listening to me? <laughs> she she just stopped and started laughing because I was so genuine. Like, who's Joe Schmo? Yeah. And she's like, she starts laughing. And she's like, she laughs and she's like, Are you listening to what I'm saying? I'm like, I don't know who Joe Schmo is though. <laughs> she just fucking laughs. She's like, You motherfucker. That's a riot. <laughs> motherfucker. Yeah. Oh uh, um, yeah. There's. <laughs> How, I, I think about it as a, 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 just all the shit your kids do that's just dumb as fuck. And it's funny as shit. Yeah. So wonderful. Like Emmy walking around this around the house. She, like, because I kept my arm elevated for fucking ever so it didn't swell. So she's doing She walks around the house, arm elevated. Hey, Dad. Like, just fucking with me. Being a dick to me because I'd walk with my arm horizontal <laughs> yeah. to my body. Yeah. Or perpendicular. Yeah. <laughs> Dickhead. Uh. Uh, Nick, my my buddy from back in Reading uh-huh. and stuff, when he was really young, 
uh, growing up. Like we kind of helped raise him and stuff, but he, uh, my dad had a CB radio in his car and in his truck, but <laughs> my dad would always talk like, you know, cause he was a truck driver. So he would talk to westbound and eastbound, getting traffic reports, cops, all that shit. Nice. So the one day Nick hears my dad say, you know, how about it westbound? What's it look like? Da, 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 da. He's like, you know what? He's like, my dad has a friend named Westbound, too. He's like, talks to him all the time when we're going out to Pittsburgh. <laughs> da, da, da. <laughs> nice. and my dad's like, it's actually not our friend. It's just like a direction. And anyone come in that direction, they can talk to us. Tell us all about it. He's like, no, he's like, he has the same friend. <laughs> Mr. West, same guy. Mr. Westbound. Mr. Westbound. <laughs> Oh man, Fucking kids! I love it, dude. I fucking love it. <clears throat> oh. Fucking uh, huh. we have any like cool like things on TV this weekend or sports or nothing? End huh? of the end of the last dance. Big thing is now just you know the COVID stuff that's still happening. Mm-hmm. <laughs> People just want the gym. Oh, why and can't we restaurant. just? Why just can't? Why can't we go back to fucking work? Enjoy. Why can't I go back to daydreaming about fucking sex under a waterfall, watching people? I want to sit in traffic on twenty two. Uh, you know what I'm getting tired of too? Huh. I'm getting tired of watching people do push ups. Can't I can't do push ups? I'm watching people with their fucking two arms and their two legs doing push ups, and I'm here fucking can't bend my arm any more than sixty fucking degrees right now. Could do one arms. I could. I could stop being a pussy and do some one arm push ups. <laughs> Fuck. You look practically good to go. I'm there. Yeah, stitches are out. I'm good. That's good. Yeah. I can't jerk so off you, still. Mm. I can't I can't do much. Not you don't have the, the I don't have the range of motion. The ROM. You don't have I the do ROM. not have the range of motion, nor do I think I have the strength in the tendon quite yet. Mm-hmm. I think I might tear some shit. Does it feel good that the stitches are out? Like, do you feels notice the that same. they're out? Yeah. yeah, it feels the same. Yeah, is what it is. Mm-hmm. All good. Shane, no questions. No. No questions. Mm-mm. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to order a new game. We're gonna have to find a new game. Do something. I'll look into that this weekend. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, we need a new game. <laughs> yeah, the, the, we just wore those out. There, well, yeah, there was like a few episodes. Hard, now they're just ignorant and there was a few. Crazy. There was a few questions in a row these past few podcasts that were just not good. Yeah, too many not good questions. I'm not into them. <laughs> People love that. I hate that. <laughs> so good. <laughs> uh, I drank way too much coffee today. I'm fucking. I'm excited for another cup here. Wired. Oh, I'm allowed to do legs and I'm allowed to do cardio. So that's exciting. Mm-hmm. Be good. Be good. Cool. Come on, give me something. Give me something to say at the end. So something new. Up. Ready, Shane? Go. What do you mean something new? Say I don't know. Spice up. Spice some. Spice it up. Um, say something funny. Yeah, say something funny. Ready? Go. Oh my God! You're putting me on the spot. And tell I can't a, handle quick, it. Quick, tell a joke. <laughs> tell your best joke that you have. <laughs> Oh no! All my best jokes are inappropriate. Yeah, don't say those. Don't do that. That was really fuck. Sh- just shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Oh, Shane is done keto already, so yeah, we can I, tell uh, everyone that. Yeah, he lost. <laughs> I didn't done. start. It's hard to start. It's hard to do it. He's I'm like, never... it's hard to lose if you never started. <laughs> it's hard to get into it when I don't have to do it. <laughs> but you said you were gonna just to motivate others. You're just a you're just a motivator. That's it. What a fucking like yeah, guy. I'm gonna fucking kick your ass in keto. You now go do it. I'm not gonna now, do it. I'll yeah, stand here and watch you. Not gonna do it. Mm-hmm. Whatever. But I will be Jay in yard sports. No, you won't. Yes, I will. You'll lose at that too. I hey, did. I, I did see you. You were pretty good with the bow yesterday. Yeah. He's getting better. I'd say ten more reps than you should have done, but mm-hmm. you know. 12 or less. I'm going to shoot again today if it stays like this. You got to try to shoot on the run. That's that's how you yeah. kill an animal. Or a moving target. Yeah. I'll shoot you on hit the a run. Fucking mo- you hit a moving target with a fucking bow. You're a badass. I can. I'm very confident that I can. 
I don't know if I can hit a target while I'm moving, but I can definitely hit a moving I would, target. I would love to run and Bro, like, if like jump. you can hit a moving target with a fucking bow and arrow, pretty fucking good. I think I can do it. How do we get a moving target? I'm not. Do we shoot Jay up? No. We'll just put it on a fucking go-kart or something. I feel like if I shot at someone running with a target, I would shoot them right in the calf. Like, no matter what... <laughs> No matter what, it would go through the calf. You, I just got the chills. Could you imagine a fucking arrow going through your calf? No. That would be so fucking terrible. It wouldn't be that painful, but it would just suck the whole thought. <sighs> it would blow your fucking... Nah. Broadhead or no? No, just... Uh, no just, broadhead, you'd be fine. Yeah, just a target. A just target a, tip. Yeah. So it would be stuck in your calf. You wouldn't be able to walk through doors. <sighs> you have to pull it Come out. through your calf and split your shin. Just through the meat. You got tiny calves, so like, just go. Oh, through the side. Yeah, just through, just through the fucking, not through the shin, just through the meat. If it was through the meat, it wouldn't. It, you'd just be like, ah, oh, it's gonna take like a month to heal. I think it would ricochet off of these sharp bad boys. <laughs> 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 oh man. Oh. Well. That's about all for today, folks. I'm going to end this podcast with telling you that Pineapple Express is available. Pineapple right. Express, Bob's exclusive flavor. It is a pineapple mango flavor of seventh gear, our high stimulant pre-workout. It is tasty as fuck, and I can't drink it right now. I mean, I might. I could do legs, so I might have a little taste. I could do a little, a little nipper. Yeah. Like doing, a... It's like doing a little bump, not getting too fucked up whenever you're out to party, yep. and then all of a sudden start to chase the dragon, too much cocaine, just keep drinking Jack and Diets. Before you know it, you're sucking dick for coke <laughs> on the side of the road, not knowing who you are, what you're doing, what's going on in life. Life's down the shitter, and then you wake up, and it was just a dream, and you're like, thank God I don't do that anymore. <sighs> Sucking dick for coke, that was a rough time. <laughs> Been there. Been there. I've done that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Good times, everybody. All right. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. And please, you know what? No, I'm going to redo that one. I was going to I was gonna offer something. Yeah, you got to be careful. I got to be careful because we will get that. I was going to say something. We were going to get fucking flooded with all oh. kind of inappropriate questions. I was like, no, don't do it. Seth. No. All right, everybody, have a great day. Go check out Pineapple Express, 7th Gear, and have an enjoyable weekend. Love it. Love it. Do some grilling. It's nice out. Chop Bobby Flay shit. Bobby Flay that bitch. Make a fucking killer drink. Slap the old lady on the ass. Play with your kids. Throw some football. Take a Viagra. Have a good time. American way.